What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Muhammad Week. This is God Logic Apologetics, and this week is a special week dedicated to seven days of us bringing about the beautiful, magnificent character, hygiene, revelation, uh, and personality that Muhammad has. So stay tuned because this is a week that you don't want to miss. You might end up saying your Shahada by the end of this week. So today we got a special topic, Muhammad's racism. If you don't say your Shahada after this one, we got a few more topics that might get you. All right, let's get into it. It's God. It's God. It's God. It's God. It's God. Now I got a few friends with me today. I got Imam Claus in the building. Imam One Way Apologetics. We got my boy DL from the Prophet's Republic. And we got Al Masihi himself, the Christian. What's going on, my brothers? How are you guys? Salam al Masih, Sheikh Logic. God bless you today, brother. God bless, God bless. All the same. Salam al Masih. Awesome, awesome. All right, everybody sounds good. Al, can you hear us? You there? Yeah. Salam alaikum wa rahmatul Masih. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that. Now I'm I'm waiting on um I'm I'm waiting on uh Scott uh, well study the show to come through. I'm waiting on Danny Davis to come on through because those those guys I especially wanted on this one because man do they have ah speak of the angel speak of the angel that wasn't in the cave on this one because study the shows in the building. What's up, man? What's going on? God bless you guys, man. Salam al Masi, big brother Scott. Salam al Masi. It's good to see you guys and be with you guys. That's right. We're waiting God on one more. We're waiting on Danny to pop up, man. We're waiting on Danny to pop up. But just to check, uh, is everything sounding good, guys, from y'all's in? Everything sound good? You guys can hear everybody? Everybody can hear each other? Yeah, sounds great. Sounds, sounds good. good. Good, good, good. Yeah, we're gonna have fun with this one, man. We uh, we 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 got some um, some some left shoulder masters here, uh, who you know love to try to you know run after those left le those left shoulders, who um <clears throat> who are asleep. Study to show they sleep. They don't know uh, their heritage. They don't know uh, who they really are. Right. And it's up to us if That's we don't right. do it. It's up to us to let these left shoulders know who they are and, you know, where it is they're, they exactly come from. Am I right, fellas? That's, That's right. right. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> so for those of you who are in the chat who will be watching this later on, if you do not know what a left shoulder is, what we mean by this, uh, then you, just stay tuned. You're going to learn all about this what a left shoulder is and why we are calling these people left shoulders. First of all, thank you for uh, the super chat, Yeshua. Thank you so much. And thank you all to everyone who supports the ministry, the ones who've been supporting the ministry since day one, the ones who are new supporting the ministry. Thank you guys so much. Uh, everything that you guys do, man, I appreciate everything from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys. Um, for those who were here yesterday, man, it was a good session. We talked about... Muhammad's demonization with Sam Shimon, his doubts when it comes to his revelation, his fears that he had, his suicidal thoughts. If you guys missed that session, go ahead and watch that from yesterday, yesterday's live stream with Sam Shimon. We went in on that, all right? Uh, with the articles, links, sources, you name it, it's all in the live chat. Same thing is going to be here. We're going to put the links on the screen and in the live chat so that you guys can have a hold of this stuff. So that you guys share this with your fellow left shoulders and uh, those Muslims who don't know about this stuff, who are ignorant about this, right? Uh, super chat from Swizz, New Jersey, who says, this live gonna be legendary. Jesus Christ is Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen to that. Um, fellas, 
Do you mind telling them what a left shoulder is for me? I got to go real quick and get my phone charger, but go ahead and fill the ones in who are not really that educated on this. Tell them exactly what a left shoulder is and why we call them. May, may, may I take this one for you, big brother, Scott? Yeah, yes, please. Y yes, please. So <clears throat> if we go to authentic Hadith, Mishkat al Masabi, night 119. And before we get into it, it is great at Hassan. So she's good. She's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and read it here for you. Abu Darda reported the God's messenger as saying, God created Adam. And when he created him and struck his right shoulder and brought forth his offspring white like small ants. And he struck his left shoulder and brought forth his offspring black as though they were charcoal. Then he said to the party on his right side to paradise, and I do not care. And he said to the party in his left shoulder to hell, and I do not care. And Ahmed transmitted this. So we have the left shoulders that were black like charcoal are created for the hellfire and Allah does not care. Study. What, why this isn't this why we've been trying to free our left shoulder brothers? Exactly. Exactly. Because a lot of uh, the left shoulders fall into Allah's deception, right? You'll see different factions of Muslims ascribed to like the Nation of Islam, the Moorish Science Temple of America, the Five Percenters. And then when the handlers go and start uh, collecting their money from these uh, organizations and they say this is not the real Islam and they bring them into the real Islam, they've had this training and believing that Islam is for the black man, not knowing that according to Allah, they are a left shoulder and they were created for hell. Um, in that hadith that you read, in the Arabic it's graded as Sahi in chain by Al Bani. And Sheikh Logic can tell you that Al Bani is probably the most acclaimed scholar of the Salafis uh, of the last 200 years. He's probably the most acclaimed uh, of the Salafi uh, scholars. So if he grades it as Sahi in chain, then they have to accept it. Free all our left shoulder brothers. Exactly. Free all my left shoulders. And uh, Brother Scott, uh, this almost goes right into the next word that I would like to, to bring up to show these Muslims uh, how much racism there truly is in Islam. Um, back in the day, there used to be a term, a bead. Now, what is that term and who did it apply to, sir? Okay, so the Abids means slaves, right? And this is what they call the black people. To this day, they call them Abids or Abs. Um, and it's a uh, slang term for uh, black people used throughout the Arabic Peninsula. So uh, we see that there's still slavery in the northern part of Africa, Tunisia, Mauritania, Libya, and uh, when uh, there was a case where there were black people coming from uh, sub-Saharan Africa trying to get to Europe, and as they were going through uh, Libya, the Muslims caught them, right, and uh, put them into slavery, right, and they uh, called them Abid. So we like to let the know, or, or we like to let the know, or I'm sorry, we like to let the left shoulders know who they are in Islam. So we call them by these names just so that they don't get comfortable uh, thinking that they're a part of something. Yep. Now, guys, if you guys want whatever whatever links that you guys have and you guys want me to put it on the screen and stuff like that, just go ahead and <clears throat> drop it in the, the chat, in the private chat. I don't know if it gives you an option to be able to also comment on the actual, you know, like public chat here, but also put the links in the public chat, too, so everybody can just have them. 
Uh, I just dropped the hadith for you guys about the left shoulders, where we get that from. Um, I'm going to put it on the screen as well so that everybody can see that. <clears throat> so you don't think that we're lying and we just made this up. Uh, we This is real. As, as they read the hadith, it's real. It's it's authentic. It's good. And in chain, it's sahih, as the brother said. So there's no way around this. They can't go against this. Um, and, and, you know, I, I'm a black man. I'm a black Christian. And so obviously um, I have a soft spot for my for my black brothers and sisters. And so whenever I see a black Muslim, it's similar to what I see when I see a black Mormon. Like, how in the world could you be a black a, a Mormon and be black? Like with the history that they have with that um, and not not how not the Mormon people, but the text. What the, what the text taught, what their, what their so-called prophets and their teachers taught in their texts, in their books, in the Book of Mormon, stuff like that. Um, this is what we're doing. We're going into the text, seeing how the sources thought about, um, thought about black people, right? And not just black people, too, because it does, racism isn't just against black people. It's against <laughs> racism is when you believe that your race is, is superior than another. It's not just blacks that that Islam is racist against, and we can uh, go into some of that stuff later. But here it is. Is it on the screen, guys? Is it showing? Yes. Yep. All right. Yep. Here it is, guys. God created Adam when He created him and struck his right shoulder and brought forth his offspring white like small ants, and He struck his left shoulder and brought forth his offspring black as though they were charcoal. Then said to the party on the right side, to paradise, I do not care, and said to the party on the on his left shoulder, <laughs> to hell, and I do not care. Free all of my left shoulders. Free them all, free them all. See, this is what Martin Luther King tried to fight against, man, this right here. Amen, his left shoulder, amen. Left shoulder violence. Yeah, so the, the, I mean, it's, it's just, uh, you know, it's wonderful, uh, the sources that we're going to bring forward, right? Because we're going to show that this religion is not from God, right? We're going to show that this religion is the Antichrist, because we know that in the Bible, in, in Acts chapter 8, uh, the Lord led Philip to save an Ethiopian man who had came uh, to a Jewish festival to worship, and he bought a, a, a he bought an Isaiah scroll, right? And we saw that uh, from that point, Christianity flourished in Africa. So we know that uh, Jesus had a heart for all races, uh, not just the black people. But we see in Scripture, uh, you know, where uh, the disciples were led to uh, preach to Philip. Uh, we see in Acts thirteen, one of the New Testament prophets is described as black, um, you know, in uh, Acts 13, verse 1. So we know that God is not racist. So any God that would say something this wicked is not the God of all. He's the God of uh, this carnal world, and he's the God of this specific region, right, who's going to be eradicated in the end times. That's right. That's right. Now, there's something interesting about this, guys, because um, we, we have the narratives when it comes to uh, black skin, how <clears throat> Muhammad and Islam s saw black skin, saw dark skin. There's a, a lot of disgusting things said when it comes to the perception of black skin, dark skinned people. Um, I think that one we should get into uh, Muhammad and his skin tone, what he was, and then the result of if people mistook him for for being a black man, right? Does anybody have these sources here? I know I, I thought I would have some of these sources. Anybody got these sources on? Uh, on uh, do, you, do you want me to wait uh, every before you know? No, we 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 in this. We we this is free okay. flowing, fellas. Whatever comes to your mind, All right. <laughs> you know, it's just like okay, I, just like TikTok. Awesome, brother. God bless you, everybody you. who's in the chat. God God bless everybody who's in uh, watching YouTube and, uh, um, you know, supporting uh, brother Aries. You know, um, God Logic and Apologetics Ministry. 
this is a beautiful opportunity for us because a lot of uh, of these apologists like brother the prophet republic or the scott uh, you know or danny these are well weren't brothers and sisters who know islam in and out but they don't have a channel but you know glory to the god god logic has a growing you know ministry and we have a channel to expose islam here and thank you so much brother god logic you know that's this right. is, that's this is right. beautiful brother Mikasa we could, we could... <laughs> god bless man so yeah. one thing i want to say <laughs> Salam yeah, al I'd, Danny. Salam al yeah, I'd like to echo those same sentiments, man. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I want to say something, you know, like we know that anything that is not from God is usually like carnal, right? Like carnal That's desires, right. you know, like somehow, you know, inter intertwined with uh, some type of sin, right? In the, in the yep. world. Yep. So one of the things we can see from the life of Muhammad that he was actually a racist, right? Uh, how do we know that? We're going to provide all the sources. But one thing that I wanted to say, you know, we know that the, the, the God of the Bible is not, you know, doesn't care about the color, doesn't care about, you know, who you are. He cares about your heart, right? But when it comes to Muhammad, the color, you know, pays attention because at the time in the sixth century, the color played a big role in the world because most of the, you know, we, we want it or not, it's a sad story, but most of the slaves were blacks and everybody looked down on them, right? So we know that Muhammad used to carry all this, you know, slaves used to, you know, bargain them, used to, you know, like sell them and buy them. So one thing I want to say is, uh, if brother, if you could open up the link that I sent to you from uh, Imam Wahidi, Asbab al Nuzul. So this is from, yes, yes, brother. This is about the Surah to Tawbah, 61, 62. Um, the reason I brought it up at the beginning is because a charge that was done by people around Muhammad was Muhammad is just a hearer. He doesn't receive his own revelation. He actually, you know, listens to people and make up, uh, you know, their stories into, into the Quran, right? So that's how we know that the, his revelation is not from God, but from humans. So another thing is, if you read it, uh, there is a story inside of it, right? It says this, and of them who's uh, the vexed prophet, like mock the prophet, right? Say he's only a hearer. This was rebuilt about a group of hypocrites who used to harm the uh, messenger by saying about him that they should not be said. One of them said, do not do this, for we fear that what we say might reach to him and we, he will punish us. So I'm going to go down a little bit. Um, uh, if okay, let me keep reading it. It says, Al Julas ibn Suwait said, We will say whatever we wish to say, and when we go to him, he will believe whatever we tell him. For Muhammad is nothing but a hearer. And mm. so Allah exaltedly revealed this verse Muhammad ibn Ishaq ibn Yasir and others said, This verse, pay attention to this part. This verse was revealed about one hypocrite whose name is Nabtal ibn Al Harith. The man, pay attention, the man. <laughs> this man was dark-skinned, red-eyed, burnt in the cheeks, and deformed. It said this man about whom the prophet uh, said, whoever wants to look at the devil, let him look at Nabtal ibn al-Harith. This wow. man was a tale-bearer. He related the words of the prophet uh, to the hypocrites. And when he was told to stop doing this, he said, indeed, Muhammad is but a hearer. He believes everything that people tell him. We mm -hmm. say whatever we like. <laughs> And then we go to him, swear uh, when we said it, he believes us. So mm -hmm. the previous uh, hadith that my brother Scott brought, right? What was the skin color that uh, people would go to, you know, be of the hell? Dark like charcoal. Oh, my goodness. So Natal ibn Haris was also that kind, right? Yep. Dark skin, red eyed, burned in the cheeks, but also deformed too. Wow. So wh whom does he look like? Whom does he look like? This, this man. It says he looks like the devil. Whoever wants so, to look at the devil, look at Naptal bin Harith. So a devil is a black man? Yes, with red eyes. Oh, my goodness. So devil is like the likeness of a black person, right? Yep. Beautiful. Scott. Welcome to Islam, bro. This is Islam, ladies and gentlemen. This is Islam that if you want to see the devil... If you're ever curious about what the devil might look like, just look at this, this black man here. He looks like a black man with red eyes, you know, burnt cheeks. This is what he looks like. This is the beautiful, beautiful religion of Islam. What happened to the brothers? What's going on? Are you guys uh, losing connection? Yeah, study, study will lose connection from time to time. What's going on with you guys' devices? 
Study will lose connection from time to time on. Uh, well, yeah, this yard. is interesting, man. This right here, this is interesting. This is tough. Um, <clears throat> it's funny because we we get this. Uh, that Islam is is all inclusive, right? That it's all inclusive. It looks at everyone the same and equally. You know, you go to a mosque, you'll see a white man, an Arab, and uh, you know, a black man and Latino. You'll see them all together. Praying together to the one God, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And yet here it is. But when you actually go into the sources and you get past the fluff, you see that Muhammad is saying that the devil looks like a black man. Yeah. So one thing I want to ask you, uh, God Logic and Brother Avery. So in Christianity, we have a, a figure, we have an adversary who is called the Satan as well, right? We, we call That's him right. the devil. We can say Satan, right? Do, yeah. we, give, do we give him a color? Do we give yeah. him like a there's there like is why no, there is no skin to have one he's a spiritual creature exactly <laughs> he's a spiritual <laughs> creature so he's not gonna have a, a skin color <laughs> you know he don't have no physical yeah. skin <laughs> so the hey, first Mark. hadith I want to connect it the brother Scott is saying according to the hadith that he brought it up the people who will go to hell are black skinned and then you know Muhammad comes up and turns around and says oh look at the devil you know he's a black skin <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. And wow. why don't we just hammer that one home? Because if we went to, why don't we go straight to the Quran this time, Logic? Mm -hmm. Not even a yes. Hadith, not yes, even yes. anything else. How about we go right to the Quran? Yeah. And if you would pull up, brother, Surah 3. 105, right? 106, brother. Oh, man, I was close. You was close. You yeah. was close. All right, let's pull that up real quick. Mashallah. Guys, if you guys are liking this discussion, please hit the like button on the video. We got a lot more coming from where this is coming from. Uh, we're just barely hitting the surface of these things. So far, we got that black people, according to Islamic sources, uh, are created for hell. Black people are created for hell while the white ones are created for paradise. I'm not hating. I'm not hating. I just think that's a little unfair. Um, and uh, what we have is, is that the devil looks like a black man. If you ever want to see the devil, look at the black man. And when you're ready, Logic, I have the description of Muhammad and the sources for that. And also the ruling upon what you were talking about before as well. Excellent. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and get to chapter three, verse 106. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. By the way, if you are a Muslim and you think that... Uh, uh, that we are misrepresenting your religion. I think that the brothers here would love to talk to you. Is that right, fellas? Yes, yes sir. brother. That's we right. would love to. <laughs> they love to talk yeah, to we, you. We, we love us some black people, but study, can you tell them one thing we cannot stand? Man, I, I, in the words of Chris Rock, I love me some brothers and sisters, but boy, oh boy, I can't stand me some left shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> love me the black people Bro. i can't stand the left shoulders man okay all right this is excellent um all right so chapter three verse 106 let me go ahead and is it already on the screen yes sir all right cool we can see it all right my stuff is a little slow so forgive me all right chapter three verse 106 ladies and gentlemen it says on the day Faces will turn white and faces will turn black. Now, what will happen to the ones whose faces are turned white? And as for those faces whose tur faces turn black, it'll be said to them, did you disbelieve after you after your belief? Then taste the punishment of what? you used to reject whoops so the face the folks who become black their faces become black they're going straight to hell as we saw in the hadith now this is in the quran this is in the quran now in case we are like like you know miss like how do we know that we're not misinterpreting this uh you know uh 
what we're reading off the freaking page. How do we know that this is not, you know, what it means? Does anybody know? How can we be sure that this is exactly what it's saying? That what we're reading in our face is exactly what it's saying. You my, know my, brother. It. <laughs> my, my, my brother, I put an ex of Jesus in the chat and in, mm -hmm. in the private chat in the studio. Mm -hmm. Al Mustandrick, uh, it's the second link. Yeah. And if you could put it up, it will give you, uh, it will tell you uh, a perfect exegesis of this verse, right? Along with what uh, Al uh, Masihi brought, right? Uh, in, in Surah 961, talking about uh, me and Danny's ancestor, Nopto. Now, me, we're related to Nopto through suckling. And Nopto tried to tell the people, hey, look, Muhammad is just a hearer. Oh, did they disable the link? No, no, no. It's um. Hold on, I just gotta do something. So, so we're related to Nabto through uh, suckling, and he tried to stop people from converting to Islam. He said Muhammad is just a stealer of stories, in 961, and uh, Muhammad and Allah's solution was that Nabto was a black man, and he looked exactly like Satan. So he's Satan. So don't listen to Nabto. Uh, yeah, it looks like they uh looks like they disabled this one. Let me see. Yeah, see if it works on your phone. If it works on your phone, if it works. What source okay. are you guys trying to pull up, brother? Uh this, let me see. This link by and from Islamport.com. <clears throat> uh it's in the private chat if you can see it. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, ba basically an exegesis on this. Yeah, Allah is trying to abrogate our ancestors in history. <laughs> Poor old uh, Uncle Naptov. It's so, okay so, because Ibukathir says the same thing. So if we go to, uh, um, and it, it's called Al Hakim Al Mustadric 2463, and I'll just read it um, and I'll, uh, I'll send it uh, in the uh, telegram. Um, this is what it says it says, narrated by Anas Ibn Malik. A black man came to the prophet and said, oh, messenger of Allah, I am a man who is black, foul smelling with an ugly face. I have no wealth. If I fight these people until I am killed, where will I be? Of course, Muhammad sweet stroked him, he said, in paradise. So he fought until he was killed. Muhammad came to him and said, verily Allah has whitened your face and made your odor pleasant and increased your wealth. And he said to him or someone else, I saw his wife from the wide-eyed horries uh, removing his woolen cloak and placing herself between him and his cloak. This mm -hmm. is classed as Sahib by Al-Bani, Al-Hakim, and Al-Dahabi. Now notice that Allah had to whiten his face before he could go into Jannah. Now look at the commentary on this hadith. It says, indeed, whoever is killed in the cause of Allah and who had any flaw or deficiency. So any flaw or deficiency, listen to the list of deficiencies, such as blindness, smelliness, poverty, blackness, lameness, paralysis, mm. or otherwise, then martyrdom in the cause of Allah removes all of these flaws and deficiencies. Wow. And this is Kamat al Sada. So yeah, wow. that's, yeah. So that one of the deficiencies, according to that breakdown from the scholars, is blackness. Yes, Your sir. blackness is a deficiency. And this is an understanding that they get from the verse, isn't it? It's beautiful. This is Islam, ladies and gentlemen. This is Islam. Now, to show that we're not misinterpreting this verse, as he already brought this up, but Ibn Kathir also talks about this briefly. Um, he talks about this. He says... And on the day when some faces will become white and some faces will become black. Uh, 306, on the day of resurrection. This is when the faces of the followers of the Sunnah and, ja and the Jama'ah will radiate with whiteness. And the faces of the followers of Bidda and division will be darkened, as has been reported from Ibn Abbas. Right? Allah said, as for those faces who will become black, did you reject faith after this? Um, Al-Basri -Bas said they are the hypocrites. 
So the hypocrites, according to Ibn Abbas and al-Basri, are the ones whose faces will become black. That is a deficiency for you. You are a left shoulder. You were created for hell if you're black. So how in the world can you be a Muslim, be black and be comfortable with this and think that this religion is from God? If it's from God, this ain't a God for you. This ain't a God for me or for Scott or for Danny or for uh, DL here. Never seen him, but, you know, he sounds like a black a brother, you know. I'm light skinned. Oh, he's like, oh, yeah. So he, he's cool. He, he's a. Um, he, he he made it. He's on the he's on the uh, the right shoulder side. <laughs> yeah, but for the my light, dark the, chocolate brothers, the light, out there. <laughs> the light skins in, invaded your life today. Yeah, I see that. That's tough. Right? So, yeah, Scott too. Wow, I invited the wrong people. <laughs> We're black doctor. <laughs> we, we, we making a comeback. You know what I'm saying? Making a comeback. Wesley Snipes' days is over. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we gonna we gonna start singing "Night and Day" by I'll Be Sure. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. We kind of on a roll right now. We kind of on a roll right now. So this is what this is what we have here, guys. Now, Chris, you said that you had those sources ready about Muhammad's uh, description and how he looks. Oh, I brother, do I? And it says Muhammad was neither black nor African. If we went to Sahil Bakari, and this is, I'm going to read the first one out and I'll read out the reference and then I'll read out the references and just the things about it because they're long hadiths. So the first one I'm going to read is about the white thigh. This is in Sahil Bakari, uh, do, 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 volume one, book eight, hadith number 367. It is like a book of prayers. And it says here, narrated by Abdul Aziz Anas said, when Allah's apostle invaded Khyber, we offered the Fajr prayer there yearly in the morning. When it was still dark, <clears throat> the prophet rode and Abu Tala rode too. And I was riding behind Abu Tala. And the prophet passed through the lane of Khyber quickly. And my knee was touching the thigh of the prophet. He uncovered his thigh, and I saw the whiteness of the thigh of the prophet. So the prophet's thigh was white. I'm, I'm just going to go through that, okay? Mm. So the next one we have is in Sahih al-Bakari. I believe it is volume two. Um, I'll get the references later for you here. The White Armpit. It's uh, book 145. Again, I'll get them here in a, in a minute. Mm. So he's got a white armpit. He's also Sahih al-Bakari, 163 to 122 and 4744. He is a white man in Sahih al-Bakari, 4747 and 748. He is identified as having a rosy colored cheeks. Now, <laughs> yeah. now, don't, don't laugh too hard yet. Because <laughs> if you, th th now there's a ruling. This isn't a hadith, but this is an actual ruling. And this is from the scholar Ahmed Ibn Suleiman. Again, it's not a hadith, but it's a ruling based on this. So mm -hmm. in the Ashifa Ash Al Qadi Iyad, page 387 of uh, Ahmad Ibn Suleiman, he says, Whoever says that the prophet was a black man should be killed what that's right Stop. it is stated by ahmed ibn suleiman that if somebody is to say the prophet is black he needs to be killed a stuck for the law that can't be islam that can't be islam that can't be from the nation of islam <laughs> Definitely not. The nation of Islam says Muhammad was a black man. <laughs> Can I get a bean pie, my brother? Can I get a bean pie, man? Come on, <laughs> man. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, wow. That was hilarious, bro. <laughs> Earlier. <laughs> <laughs> That's man, me, and, uh, me and Avery had a bean pie down there at the uh, park one day. That ain't nothing but a miniature pumpkin pie. Man. That's all that is. <laughs> 
That was the first time. Energy pumpkin pie, man. First time I tried one, as soon as I was like, man, I'm curious to see what these things taste like. I took a bite and I'm like, man, it's pumpkin pie. My yeah. used to make these every year. That mess was haram, man. Oh, straight haram. They lied to us. False advertisement. But wow. So if you mistake Muhammad for a black man, you, what, what was happening to you? You would be killed. Yes, sir. Killed off. Sliced up. Diced up. Um, well, I wow. see Avery brought in uh, uh, backup. Huh? We got our brother, the black doctor, up in here. That's right. <laughs> That's man right. Yes, sir. My Fell twin the in the way. house. You know, you know, we always got to keep up with the stereotype, always fashionably late. The party don't start till I walk in, brothers. <laughs> See, the party don't start till he walk in, and there it is. Now the party's trying starting, to move the dial back to the right side, the darker side of the spectrum. Exactly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Exactly. Yes, sir. You see, DL, you see, DL, when Allah struck you, he struck the nape of Adam's neck, and you came out probably on the left shoulder, but still, still more looking like the right. <laughs> So, so yeah. you're trying to say you on Christian Prince time. You on exactly. Christian on CP exactly. time. Okay. <laughs> hey, 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 wait. Did, did I not just hear about the whiteness of Muhammad's arms, the whiteness of his thighs, the, the rosiness of his cheeks? Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, when it comes to Muhammad, I don't think he was saying Audibilah. He was singing Audibilah Ladi. I'm done. <laughs> I'm so freaking done <laughs> with this dude, man. This is what I got in here, y'all. This is Every why single here. time it cracks me up when he says, uh, I would have been left. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get some of these references of Muhammad's whiteness on the screen here so that everybody can see the show that we're not making this up and we're not tripping. We ain't making this up. Let's see here. Um, Muhammad, Muhammad. Muhammad's white skin. Y'all seen uh, Muhammad's great, 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 great grandson, right? Justin I Bieber. Never seen, I never seen him, but he, he better be as white as white can be. The boy looks like he's from the flogging. Caucasus Mountains. <laughs> the mountains <laughs> of Caucasus. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm not that even kidding, that? bro. There is people who actually believe that the Queen Elizabeth was uh, from the lineage of uh, Muhammad. You believe it or not? This is, there is some theory like that. But I'm not even kidding, bro. Oh no, I don't know which one is worse, that theory or the theory that King James was black. <laughs> also, uh, I just want to throw this out here again. This isn't just to do with racism, this comment, but this is also in the ruling uh, that I was reading. It also says, this is my opinion. This is from the same guy that was stating it before. This is my position regarding the judgment of anyone who belittles Muhammad or insults him having a, uh, insult him about having been a shepherd, I guess, or oversight, forgetfulness, sorcery, any wound he received, uh, the defeat of one of his armies, injury by an enemy, the intensity of his illness or being attracted to his wives, uh, the judgment of all that is that who intends to disparage him by it is killed. All of that. If you talk about any of that, uh, about Muhammad, any of that, that's all true. But if you mention any of that, you die. Mm -hmm. That's Muhammad great. is a real protected class in Islam. He's protected more than Allah. <laughs> now, here's a, here we go. I found some good stuff here. We got Muhammad, who's literally called a white man, y'all. Literally called a white man. And this white man, that's what he was known as. That's a... Who, where's the prophet at? All oh, those white men reclining on this chair and stuff like that. Hold on, my thing is uh, a little slow. Mm. You guys got to forgive me. But here we go. Let's see if we can get this up. Come on, man. Don't do this to me now. I know Jabril's mad, but come on, man. All right, here we go. No, I need everybody else on the screen too. All 
Oh, this thing is really tripping. Audience, please let me know that you guys can still hear me. Stuff is slowing down, man. Jibril, you let my left shoulder's connection go right now. <laughs> Got me messed up. I ain't the, I ain't the left shoulder. Only the Muslims are the left shoulder. <laughs> Not me. Is that, a, is that a pint of pork rinds, man, that you eating? Man, it's a oatmeal, oatmeal raisin cookie. Uh, in light of our next subject, the raisin, the raisin head. Mm. All right, here we go. So we got Muhammad here and Sahih Bukhari, who's literally, literally described as the white man. Sahih Bukhari, Hadith 63, book three. Hadith 5. All right. So it's 63. And uh, if you guys want to go to Sunnah.com, I believe. All right. So it says, narrated Anas bin Malik. While we were sitting with the prophet in the mosque, a man came riding on a camel. And he, and he made his camel kneel down in the mosque, tied its foreleg, and then said, who amongst you is Muhammad? Who is it? At that time, the prophet was sitting amongst us, leaning on his arm. Sitting amongst us, his companions, leaning on his arm. We replied, this white man reclining on his arm. Muhammad was known as the white man. The white man? The white man. He guaranteed paradise. He don't care nothing about the tide. Hey, 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 where's the prophet? Oh, yeah, this white man over there. This white man here who don't care nothing about nothing but the tide. He don't care about nothing but the tide. God bless America. All right? So this is uh, Sahih Bukhari, 63. Muhammad is identified as the white man. Um, we also have others. Other hadiths. I love this website here. It gives us all the sources here. Narrated Abdullah bin... Din, uh, dinar, my father said, I heard Ibn Umar reciting the poetic verses of Abu Talib. A white person, i.e. the prophet, who is requested to pray for rain and who takes care of the orphans and is the guardian of widows. So even in the poems, he's described as the white man. Right? Continues, a white person who is requested to pray for rain and things of this nature just repeats it in the, in the poem. That's Sahih Bukhari. Another one from Sahih Bukhari. They're asking to describe the prophet. Narrated Ismail bin Abu Khalid. I heard Abil uh, Juhaifa saying, I saw the prophet and Al Hassan bin Ali. Oh. And I saw the prophet, and Al Hassan bin Ali resembled him. I said to Abu uh, Johaifa, "Describe him for me." So, how do they describe Muhammad? He said he was white, and his beard was black with some white hair. He promised to give us thirteen young she camels, but he expired before we could get them. So when they describe Muhammad, they describe him as a white man. Now, here's what's interesting about this. Show of hands of how many of you all have heard the trope that Christianity is the white man's religion. That's what they try to say. That's what they say exactly. all right. the time. That's right. Y'all heard this, right? Yes, yes sir. Y'all heard, y'all ever hear, you know, Man, this is the white man's religion. To all my black Christians here, man, you serving a white Jesus. Man, the white man gave you this religion. Mm. The white slave master forced this religion Massa. upon you. Massa. Right? White massa. But according to Islam, and in fact, it's Muslims who say this as well. Muslims, you always use this. But according to Islam, who was the white slave master? Who is the great white hope? Who is the great white hope? 
Muhammad Wallahi Wallahi Wasalam. Uh huh. Ahmed. Ahmed. Muhammad. He was known. He's the white slave master who forced this religion on our people. Who forced this religion on you, on me, on all of us. And if anybody's going to expose this man, this white slave owner, massa, it's going to be us. We got to be it's free. It's going to be us. It's going to be it's us. It's going to be us. <laughs> now, Yeshua Akbar. Akbar. Yeshua Akbar. Now, how do we know that this white man was a slave master, y'all? Y'all got some sources for me? Preach it. Preach it. How do we know that this man was a white slave owner? Oh, Ned, can, can we get to the uh, Black Friday sale? I, I was thinking Danny or Study could be bringing up the Black Friday sale or even, even mentioning the ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, if you go to Sahih Muslim 1602, if you could pull this up, I want to see, I want you guys to see the chapter that selling black people is listed under. Sahih Muslim. 1602. Look at what Allah and Muhammad is calling black people. Oh my lord. Oh lord. What chapter us left shoulders is in. <laughs> Man, Steady, you can't do this to me. Man. Stay strong. This hurt too hard. hard. This hurt my soul. Let me uh, put it in there. Side Muslim 1602. He Muslim. Yep. And here I'll put it in the chat. And study. All our left shoulder brothers out there in Islam. Isn't it gonna be a tray moment for them today? Definitely gonna be a tray moment. Here we go. Sahih Muslim 1602. Is it on the screen? Can you guys see the chapter heading? Yes, we can. Yes, sir. We see you. Does, All right, my does screen that is say blank. The my goodness, does that say the permissibility of selling animals for animals of the same kind and what? of a different quality? Oh no! Nah. Oh no! Nah. Oh this, man, this Sahih Muslim no animals. Oh, please, <laughs> but please tell me that this is uh, narrated by Rashi. Please tell me that this is narrated by <laughs> Rashi and not Imam Muslim. I'm sorry. Nah, that's, that's Sheikh Maimonides right there, bro. Sheikh Maimonides. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, well, Muslim, man. well this is uh, where we get the Black Friday sale from. So mm. uh, the West stole this from Islam. The first Black Friday sale was carried out in the Arab Peninsula in the seventh century, and let's read about what happened, right? It says, Jabir, Allah be pleased with him, reported there came a slave and pledged allegiance to Allah's apostle on migration. He, Muhammad, did not know that he was a slave. So there was an Arabic slave, and he couldn't believe that he was a slave because he was a right shoulder. Then there came his master and demanded him back, whereupon Muhammad says, sell him to me. You got a right shoulder? And he bought him for two black slaves. And he did not afterwards take allegiance from anyone until he asked whether he was a slave or a free man. Mm. So a long time before the transatlantic slave trade, we have in Arabia, blacks being sold as animals um, two for one, a two for one deal, Black Friday deal. Yep, this is a two for one Black Friday deal, my brother. Mm. Wow. How can you be black and be a part of this religion? How can you be black and think that this prophet is for you? That this is one of yours? This is Sahih Muslim sixteen o two, ladies and gentlemen. Sahih Muslim sixteen o two. Let me actually go ahead and uh, give you guys this link. The chapter heading is what is what amplifies this. The permissibility of selling animals 
four animals of the same of the same kind, excuse me, and of different quality. Selling animals for animals of the we same ain't kind. Ain't even humans no more. Ain't even humans no more, man. You're seen as less than. This is the chapter that the left shoulders are grouped in. You left shoulders who say Allahu Akbar. You, love, you, you left shoulders who say a prayer to Muhammad every day. Oh, Prophet, may peace and blessings be upon you, oh, Prophet. This is where they got you at, man. I'll be seeing y'all on TikTok trying to practice reciting the Quran in Arabic. Why don't y'all come look at what your, white, what your white slave owner did, man? This is the white man's religion. This is the white man's religion. Man, you serving the white man. You serving Massa. That's right. Hey, meanwhile, yes, you know, yes. brother, while we're talking about the, you know, the black slaves and the slavery and the racism, right? I want to mention that, uh, you know, if you guys didn't mention yet, the Christianity actually, uh, you know, the first church, I'm actually sorry, the first church ever built was built where? In Africa. In Africa. Yep. By who? By North Africans, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. In Egypt and uh, in Ethiopia also. So, like, yep. the, that, that's Christianity. Christianity em embraced all colors, all skins, all uh you know faces and uh you know peoples so this is the beauty of christianity just want to say it you know while we're talking about the you know the black slaves and all of that right yeah That's yeah we, we we do need some beauty in a moment like that that we find that black people are classed as animals and the first black friday sale so thanks for that beauty so this is what we have here guys just to s summarize where we are so far there's more but to summarize what we, where, we are, where we're at so far, we have Muhammad, who's a white man, white cheeks, white face, white legs, white abdomen, white man, who owns black slaves, sells black slaves, teaches in the Hadith that black people were made to go to hell from Adam's left shoulder. That's why we call them left shoulders. Uh, this is why we say let our left shoulders go. Let our left shoulders go free the Anjasha. Um, we have that black people are made for hell, that even in the Quran, chapter three, verse 106, it talks about how people's faces will be turned black. That will be the, the indicator that you're going to hell, that you're a disbeliever, that you'll be turned black, become black. Um, and it puts us in the categories of animals being sold as animals, right? For different, different kinds, different value, things of this nature. This is Islam. While in Christianity, in Christianity, you have no Jew, no Greek, nor slave, nor free, nor barbarian, but all are one in Christ Jesus. Your identity is not in your skin tone, is not in your skin color. Your value isn't in your skin color or where you're born from or where, what country you're from, what tribe you're part of. But your value comes in Christ and your value is infinite because he has imputed that value unto you, his own value he put on you. This is the beauty of the gospel. And we're exposing this false gospel, this satanic gospel that we see in Islam. And we're just reading, right fellas? I mean, we're, we're just reading, right? Did, did, we, did we commentate or are we just reading what it says? Yep. That, that ain't our books. Yeah, we haven't brought anything out of our own pockets yet. But you know what? I, I um, You know, we can't leave out the sisters. We, we can't leave out the sisters because we got mm. some, you know, we got ladies out there. We got Rays. We got Claudes. We got all these black sisters out there that are, you know, uh, uh, unfortunately duped by this religion as well. And, and I think I think we got to, you know, let them know what. Uh, their Allah and his false prophet Muhammad think about them. I was thinking uh, we could start off with the um, tafsir of uh, 66 1. Um, yeah. Either uh, Jalalain or maybe go to the Isbab and Azul by uh, Al Wadi, you know, and uh, speak about that black sister, uh, Maria the Copt. Mm. So the tafsir on 61, chapter 61, verse 1? Uh, 66 1. 66, 66, yes. <clears throat> All right. 
In the meantime, guys, if you guys are enjoying this conversation, if you're learning some or just enjoying this, getting the sources so that you can share with your community, please hit the like button. Uh, make sure you guys hit the like button so that we can get in the algorithm that people can see this. Share this information. Teach it to someone. Teach it to your kids. Tell your kids. Tell your wives. Tell your husbands. Tell your cousins. Tell them all about the news of the left shoulder, all right? Uh, we want this everywhere, all right? So let's go ahead and get to this top tier. Also, we got some super chats that I'm having trouble getting to because of my computer being slow and whatnot, but I'm going to go ahead and pull, pull those up uh, real quick as we get there. Hold on. So we got, we got Kelly. We got Kelly who says, uh, with a big super chat. Thank you so much, sis, man. You are always dropping bombs for the channel. She says, I'm late. So I'm paying the jizzia <laughs> blessings to my brothers. May the Lord Bless and protect you. Thank you so much, Kelly. I really appreciate you. Um, and then we also God bless, got sister. Amen, amen. We got the, uh, the scripture plug, Albert, who says, God bless you all, brothers up there. Y'all do great work, quoting Matthew 5, 14 to 16. We got the Splissonian who says, uh, so, Islam is act so Islam is actually... The white man's religion. Exactly. 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 And then we got King Drake here who says, wait, Islam the white man's religion too? <laughs> See, y'all get it. Got a super sticker from, uh, from Jai Jimmy. Appreciate you, brother. And then we got DJ in the house. God bless you, brothers. This is an all-star panel. And we got Scott in there dropping it. Free my left shoulders and my and Josh's. Swizz who says, oh, I already read Swizz earlier. All right, thank you guys so much for the support. Now let's get into this, uh, this top seer here. Let me share the screen and pull this up here. Let's see what we got here, man. All right, 66-1. Now who are we looking at? Who, who's, who's, who's breakdown are we looking at? Uh, Danny, uh, we can go to uh, we can go to Jalal Lane. Yeah, he's, right. it's it's short and he hits straight to the point. All right, let's see what let's see what the Jalal's got to say about this. So, hmm. so he says, "Oh Prophet, why do you why do you prohibit what God has made lawful for you in terms of your Coptic handmaiden Maria when he lay with her in the house of Hafsa?" Hmm. Sleeping with a slave girl in his wife's bed, y'all, who had been away. She was gone doing groceries. But who, upon returning and finding out, became upset by the fact that this had taken place in her own house and on her own bed? By saying, she is unlawful for me. Seeking by making her unlawful for you to please your wives. And God is forgiving, merciful, having forgiven you his prohibition. So for, right here, we see that Muhammad made, a, made an oath to his wives that he would not be sleeping with his, slave, with his little sex slave, Maria the cop. He swore this, and Allah is saying, why did you swear that? I didn't, I didn't. Why are you forbidding for yourself what I did not forbid for you? The revelation is coming. So he could continue having sex with her. All right. So is there something else that you wanted to point out here, Danny? Oh, sorry. I was reading something from study. No, that's it. That's it. You know, mm -hmm. um, like I said, the Isbab and Azul is uh, much longer than that. But I just wanted to point out that, um, you know, this was a uh, black woman that was gifted to the uh, prophet Muhammad. So, so there's all kinds of problems with it, right? Um, yep. You know, you have, um, you have him sleeping with something that's not a right hand possession from war. Um, it's a, a black woman. That's one of his sex slaves, you know? And yeah. I mean, listen, all the sisters out there, listen, you're already, <laughs> you're already behind the eight ball. All right. Because you're half brain as far as uh, Muhammad and, his, and Allah is concerned. Right. And then, you know, um, I, I, I don't want to steal it, but maybe study can tell you about why black women 
don't, you know, why they get to save like 10, 15 minutes every morning. You know, I mean, it's it's not pretty. Stop the foolishness, ladies, especially the black sisters. You know, get out of this religion. It's yeah. not for you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. So so basically what we have is we have a white man, Mohammed, trying to add a little chocolate to his diet. Mm-hmm. Trying to get exactly. To exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Now, here's the tough here's the tough thing about doing these topics, guys, is that a lot of these topics kind of overlap into what I'm what I'm going to be talking about later on in, in uh, this week, because uh, we're going to talk about Muhammad's perversions. Um, we're going to talk about Muhammad's view on women. So this right here literally overlaps, you know, that his perversion in. Uh, making it lawful for himself by some revelation from Allah saying that he can have sex with her with with no problem, um, conveniently, and his view on women, uh, you know, especially him trying to get a get 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 this black woman, right here. So it, it, it's funny how all of this stuff overlaps. Now, there's something else when it comes to to black women in Islam. Right, because it's not just the black brothers, the black slaves that are sold, the black slaves that are kept, the black men. Uh, but it's also black women that are mentioned uh, that are talked about under a certain circumstance, y'all. School me. Are, are we talking about an epidemic? Oh. <laughs> 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 we talk about an epidemic study. Alma, Alma Man, we talking. We talking about COVID. First we had Satan. Now oh. we got COVID. <laughs> now we got we got COVID. <laughs> Oh man. Man, oh man. So Satan is a black man and we'll Satan see is who black. COVID is. Mm -hmm. Satan's a black you got, man. You got that Hadith uh, study? Yeah, yeah. It's uh Sahib Bakari, I think 7040. And let me pull it up and read it. Let me see if I can so, get that. So, too. so listen, I, I just gotta set this up for you. So we need uh, you know, Zainu ish. Uh, you know, all the uh, black sisters out there following this religion, uh, you know, X, listen, all of y'all, this is exactly what your prophet thought about your mom in the morning when she woke up and, you know, hadn't brushed her hair. If she got the B to B's, if she got the B to B's, she COVID. Oh, as, as our sister uh, Erica Badu said, you need to Pick your Afro daddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man. Mosh Yeshua. Oh man, this is tough. What uh what what did we say it was? What was the reference Sahih Bukhari? What? 7040. I, I put it, I put it in the uh, private chat if you, if you want it. Oh, of course. But of course, brother. DJ yeah, in the feel, building. I, I feel, man, I'm being offensive for just for just uh, thinking of these uh, hadiths, man. I feel mm. like I'm gonna get jumped if I start repeating these hadiths, bro. Yeah, man, you better be careful. You better watch yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're you gonna you think ain't no you a secret Muslim. We gonna right. think you a secret Muslim. <laughs> you, you ain't no left shoulder. Only left shoulders can call left shoulders left shoulders. <laughs> Only we can use the L word. <laughs> Okay, let's see here, man. Let me put this in up. Well, see, you can, you can, uh, we'll let you get away with saying left shoulder, uh, DJ, but you have to uh, use it. the hard R. You got to say left shoulder. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you, know, you, can't, you can't be throwing them left shoulders out there. It's got to be left man. shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's so oh, good. shoot. <laughs> oh, we got folks in the chat rolling the L word. <laughs> Y'all you know, ain't nothing nice. Y'all know that. <laughs> you of know, and, not. The, and the black people in America, they tried to embrace it and put an AH at the end. We the left show does. <laughs> yes, <know>? sir. <laughs> it's a term of endearment. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh man. I just know y'all, y'all in the chat. Y'all better be careful with that L word. For real. Sorry. <clears throat> oh man, we got oh shoot, we got this, we got this hadith. I got, I'm about to put it on the screen right now, guys. This is tough. Now, uh, for my non-left show does out there, uh, when you guys when you guys read these hadiths to yourself, 
you better read them in your head. You better not repeat these hadiths out loud in the car by yourself like you're repeating some hip hop lyrics. Uh, so, you know, we know what happens behind closed doors, you know. So I just want to make sure that you guys yeah, only you gotta self censor. You got to yep. self censor. Skip some mm -hmm. words. Exactly. You got to skip some words. <laughs> All right. Here it is, guys. Man, this is troubling. Here we go. Juan says, stop oppressing me with your L word privilege. <laughs> oh, man. This is too much. All right, ladies hey, and gentlemen. You might want to remove that super chat. I want to keep it there. It looks too nice. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> no, just kidding. Can we see the whole thing? Is it clear? Can you guys see? Do you want me to read it? Yes, please. All right. Spectacular. It says, narrated Salim's father. The prophet said, I saw in a dream a black woman with unkempt hair. So this is the b to bs going out of Medina <laughs> and settling in Mahai. I interpreted that as a symbol of an epidemic of Medina, of Medina being transferred to Mahai, namely Al Juha. Wow. So the sign of an epidemic is a black woman with unkempt hair. Guys, and this is Sahi Abukari, man. There it's a Sahi Abukari. Uh let me go ahead Can't and get it. more Sahi than that. Can't get more Sahi than this, man. So so he's hating on his sister because she didn't have a hot iron straightening comb. Correct. Is that it? No. <laughs> see, see, I could, I could only, I could only like name the hadith, but I can't read the hadith out loud. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm reading this hadith out loud. <laughs> oh, I love DJ. <clears throat> Here's the hadith, guys. I'm putting it in the chat for you guys. So make sure if you got Muslim relatives, you got Muslim relatives. Uh, if you got Muslim. Family members, I want you to take everything that we're showing you today, take them, take this to them. And it doesn't matter if they're black or they, they can be non-blacks. Show them what their, how, what their religion actually teaches about this. Show them because they're taught that Islam is all inclusive. They're taught that Islam is not racist, that it's for everyone, that it loves everyone, that it treats everyone equally. Oh, look at this, uh, the slave of, of Muhammad, right? Uh, what's his name, guys? Who they point to all the time? What's his name? It's slipping my mind. Which one? Bilal? Bilal. Bilal. Yes. Yes, Bilal. I needed a... Uh, uh, thank you for reminding me. Like, uh, Muhammad needed to be reminded of some Quran verses. Uh, Bilal, guys. Uh, they go to that and see, see, Bilal was the most respected uh, black man in Islam and stuff like that. He was a slave that Muhammad never freed. He didn't get his freedom until after Muhammad died. And it wasn't Muhammad that freed him. It was uh, Abu Bakr that freed him. Muhammad didn't free him. Now, what was his, what was his famous words after the uh, death of the prophet when Abu Bakr said, I'm taking you back? Didn't he please. say something about, uh, oh, please, if please. you if you bought me for yourself, then keep me for yourself. But if you bought me for the sake of Allah, then inshallah, free me for the inshallah. sake of Allah. <laughs> inshallah, free me, Habibi. <laughs> Man, they had that left shoulder getting up at four o'clock in the morning. to Because that's another thing they say. He was the first one to call the Adan. That's because, as our brother Christian Prince says, the Arabs was too lazy, all right? He says, and I know because I'm Arab, right? He said yep. the Arabs was too lazy, so they had Bilal getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning, 4 yeah. or 5 o'clock in the morning to sound that Adan. Yeah. Climbing up on top of that anthill. I mean, we, we already saw we already saw from these Islamic sources that black men ain't nothing but animals, so he said, you're going to be the rooster that crows. Yeah, and, and, and plus, that boy could sing. That boy could sing like Luther. You know what I'm saying? Like, get, that left shoulder, get that left shoulder that was singing to me the other day. Man, this is tough stuff, man. Bro, tough stuff. Chris, all, all, Christina's all, all. Uh, comment killed me. That those jokes should be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> That's an illegal joke. <laughs> Christina, dang, my hair, my hair looking real unkept right now in this messy bun. I'm offended. <laughs> 
Yeah. Sign up a no, pandemic. Yeah, she got a super chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay the jizzy for that, Christina. Can I no. jump in there just for a second, Shake? Go ahead. I just want to say salam Mama C to each and every one of you. God bless. I'm at work now and have a wonderful night, everyone. God bless, man. Thank you. Salam Mama, Mama C. God bless you, Chris. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, uh, this is Islam. This is Islam. Do not let anyone tell you anything different. Um, please rewatch this. Rewatch, uh, you know, take notes of the links that we shared, the uh, the references that we shared and things of this nature. Um, and make sure you guys share this stuff with with your uh, with your friends and your family members. OK, uh, co-workers, stuff like, well, not co-workers might get you fired, but uh, with your friends and family. Find good opportunity, use wisdom on how and when to share uh, this information with your with your, your Muslim community. OK, right. it's important. Notice we're doing this, bringing out the truth of Islam, one, because we have a heart for Muslim people. We want you guys to come to the truth. We want you to see the truth of your religion, that this is what it really is that you are, that you're under, that you're serving. This is the type of person you're serving that you think so highly of. And uh, if you didn't think yesterday was bad with Muhammad being demon possessed and wanting to commit suicide, uh, foaming at the mouth, getting headaches, falling to the ground, hearing ringing of a bell like he had COVID. Um, you know, today, today was, was, was tough and it gets worse. It gets worse. We haven't even really gotten to the, to the real really good hadiths right fellas muhammad's perversions the the smart stuff he taught camel urine and all this kind of stuff we got some good stuff coming for you guys all right uh does anybody else have any more references on this topic because i think uh, i'm flushed out on this one man it might yeah, uh, we got we oh. we always got uh references but um I, I think I missed the beginning of the stream did you uh remind everybody why you decided to have uh muhammad week uh, in the beginning, I did, but it's always a good time to reestablish it, mm -hmm. to reaffirm it. Yeah, the reason why, fellas and ladies, children of all ages, um, the reason why we're doing this is because, <laughs> Lika, <laughs> is because I had a discussion with Muhammad Ali from the Muslim Lantern um, and uh, on his YouTube channel. He was scared of me to post this video up. He uh, put a copyright strike on my YouTube channel and put a copyright strike on Christian Table Talk and probably others who posted the full discussion. And he deleted the video off of his YouTube channel so that no one could see our discussion and how he acted and how he was afraid and was a coward, a little punk in that discussion. Um, uh, no, no offense to cowards and punks. But man, these guys, man, these dollar guys, they are, they are lower than low. These guys are scum. Uh, and so I, as a result, I was banned for a full week. I couldn't post. I couldn't go live. I couldn't post any content for a week on YouTube. So uh, it, as a result, uh, that inspired me to dedicate seven days for the seven days that I was banned. I'm going to dedicate seven days to Muhammad. Uh, and we're calling it Muhammad Week, showing how Muhammad is... His character is beautiful, uh, how he loved women, how he loved black people, how he loved little boys and little girls, how he loved married captives, um, how he loved fly wings and camel urine and things of this nature. We're going to show you all of these things about Muhammad um, this entire week. It's going to be fun. So that's why we're here. Now, DJ, I heard you say that you wanted to you you had an idea or something. Oh yeah, I was just wondering if I could share one little thing. Um, yeah, man. Kind of like Chris, I gotta, I gotta get going to work here in a little bit. But um, um, here's one. It is Sahih Al Bukhari, fifteen ninety five, and it kind of goes to, uh, it kind of goes to Al Masih's point um, early on about if you if you have to see what Satan looks like, you know. Mm -hmm. Take a look, like, look at this black man over here. Yeah. yeah. So this kind of goes along with the same idea. Cause you know, if Muhammad was directing movies and if he was the director of all movies, all the bad, all the bad guys would be, uh, black people, unfortunately, oh, yes, <laughs> like, yes. all the, all the villains would be black. <laughs> oh 
Oh man, that's freaking. It tough. ain't me, man. It is Muhammad and uh, it's Muhammad. and his followers, man. So it's I post Muhammad. I posted in the private chat the uh, the hadith if you want to look at it. Yep, for sure. Pulling this up here as it loads up. Mm. This is Sahih Bukhari, ladies and gentlemen. Let me go ahead and share the screen so y'all can see it. Man. Now, they can't call us Islamophobic. They, they can't say that we're the ones who are who's spreading uh, a false sense of fear of Islam. This is... <laughs> so look at the chapter heading. <laughs> Demolishing the Kaaba. The oh, demolishing ahead, of the Kaaba. How will this take place, I wonder? Sahih al-Bukhari, 1595. Sahih al-Bukhari, 1595. Let me go ahead and uh, make sure. Copy this and put it in the chat for you guys as well. It says, narrated Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the prophet, the ink of the Ummah. The prophet said, as if I were looking at him, a black person with thin legs plucking the stones of the Kaaba one after another. Who's going to demolish the Kaaba? It's going to be a black man with skinny legs. Man, you know, as the saying goes, why, why you got to be black? <laughs> why you got to be a black guy doing this? Why you got to be a black man? <laughs> I, I just oh. found it funny that it mentioned his skinny legs. He skipped leg day and put all of it into his arms just so he could take down the cop. Just so he could take down the cop. <laughs> man standing up here like a giant upside down triangle taking down the cop. Man got some strong <laughs> grip, man. Pulling them stones out the cop, man. Live with your guy. knees. What you talking about? <laughs> the, the, oh, wow. The, Guys, save this stuff. You have the link. There's right another there. idea. Oh, there's, I was another. Say there's another one that's more descriptive that says he's an Ethiopian man with boat leg. He's a boat legged Ethiopian man carrying the pickaxe. So he's going to take the Kaaba apart with a pickaxe in front of all wow. the Abduls. He's going to come walk up to the Kaaba and take these huge stones out uh, with a pickaxe. So that's oh, the prophecy of the end times. Are you that's saying that this bro is straight up playing Minecraft? Good at it, exactly. good at it too. It appears he exactly. good at it too. Hey, bro, uh, can I jump yeah. in as well? God logic. Sorry, I was at work, uh, you know, got tied up. Sorry, brother. But, oh, uh, so you was at work, huh? <laughs> sorry, <Man>. bro, <laughs> be about your father's where... business, man. I see how I know, is. bro. I wish I could. I wish I could. <laughs> so, I, you know, since my brother, you know, uh. Uh, uh scott you know brought the uh ethiopian people uh you know we know that uh muhammad being uh uh not only the slave owner but a racist as well there is a sahih buhari 71 42 it says this uh, it was narrated by anas ibn malik allah's apostle said you should listen to and obey your ruler even if he was an ethiopian black slave whose head looks like a raisin yeah Whose head looks? Uh, did you guys bring that up already or no? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> so according to Muhammad, so Ethiopian black slave whose head looks like a raisin. So why Ethiopian? Like you, you guys know, I have a lot of you know, Ethiopian friends. Believe it or not, you know they have a curly hair and all, and all that, you know. But there is not that doesn't give you the right to make fun of them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this is like this is this is for you, you know, who uh, how Muhammad you know, thought of uh, Ethiopian people. Yep, it's right here on the screen, guys. Sahih Bukhari seven one four two. Allah's messenger said, "You should listen to and obey your ruler, even if he was an Ethiopian black slave whose head looks like a raisin." What? What? what why that is a raisin? He could have just said, even if he was an Ethiopian. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he had to get one in. Why did he, he have to get to one in, the Ethiopian, man? period. Oh, he had to add that flair to it. Because that's, that's the worst that it can get. Even if your slave master is even the worst is the Ethiopian with a head like a raisin. That mm. is the worst. That's an animal. Even if you're 
slave owner is an animal. That's that's what that's the point that he was trying to make. Yeah. <clears throat> Man literally provided the early version of look at the top of his head. <laughs> Well, I mean, that this is the reason why I was eating my oatmeal raisin cookies, and that's what it reminded me of. So that's that's, that's a little tough here. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, uh, speaking of, you know, like, uh, I know that uh, the, this will, uh, Brother Scott will love this, and Danny will love this as well. Have you guys shared about the uh, my brother Anjasha to let no. you go? No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, man. Josh? I was waiting on that. You know, you know what, Avery? I was just listening to Left Pac. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Left Pac still got the... I mean, that song is just fire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you always was committed. A poor little Josh on welfare. Tell me how you did it. The way I could pay you back. But my plan is to show you that I understand. You are appreciated. <laughs> Dear and Joshua, <laughs> yeah. Op open up, brother. Look it up, uh, Sahih Bukhari sixty one sixty one, brother. Sahih Bukhari sixty one sixty one. Sixty one. Love that left pack, man. All right. So after <laughs> this, after after this one, I'll drop the link for um, for Muslims who want to join. See if we can get some customers to go ahead and you know come and defend this 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 religion here. Here's the link. Being to be clear, this is for the Muslims. You know, I always got to emphasize this when I put this link in here. If you're not a Muslim, do not press the link and try to add because I have limited space here. It's for the Muslims. All right. Here you go, Muslims. Come on up. Come on up and show us how we're, how Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim and Ibn Kathir and the Jalals and uh, Awahidi, show us how all of them are wrong. Show us how Allah is wrong. Show us that they're wrong. Okay. Right. So In fact, Bukhari, I'll, I'll make I'll make some more room, um, and I'll drop down, but I'll keep on listening in. But uh, yeah, God bless you, brothers. This is a love you, DJ a man. Hilarious stream. God bless you. God bless DJ. God bless you. Love you, brother man. Yeah. God bless you, brother. Take yeah. care. Salam al Masih. God bless. Salam al Masih. Hey, uh, Avery. I think it's important as well. To let um, you know, any Muslim that comes up, even if he's a left shoulder, we are handing out right shoulder privileges up here today. You know, so <laughs> if if you are a coat catcher, you just leave your handler's coat in the lobby, come on into the live, and you will receive right shoulder privileges. That's, That's love. Right. That's, That's love. love. <laughs> what was the reference again, Al? Six sixty-one, sixty-one, brother. Sixty-one, sixty-one. Oh, that's easy to remember. 6161. Good manners. The book of good manners. How ironic. 6161. Do, 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 do. Free my left shoulder. Free my Anjasha left shoulder. Do, do, do. All right. Got it. Saya Bukhari, 6161. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I just saw the name Anjasha and I just, I couldn't. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Narrated Anas bin Malik. Allah's messenger was on a journey and he had a black slave called Anjasha and he was driving the camels very fast and there were women riding on those camels. Allah's messenger said, uh, can you say this for me, brother? Brother Al? Yeah, yeah. what is that? This word Why here? Haka. Why haka? Why haka? Yeah, why haka. Why yeah. Okay. Why haka? May Allah's may Allah be merciful to you. Oh Anjasha, drive slowly with the glass vessels. Oh, the glass vessels. The women oh. are the glass vessels. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I see you. I, I see you, Muhammad. Yeah, glass vessels. All right. So Anjasha's over here driving the camels, right? With the glass vessels. 
Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm going to be honest. I, I keep seeing this and I can't unsee this. You see, and Josh is being told to slow down. He's told to slow down. I immediately thought of Chris Tucker. I immediately thought of Chris Tucker. <laughs> slow down, Tito. <laughs> slow down, Tito. Dang. <laughs> slow down, <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Slow down, Aunt Josh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> we got the long neck she camels in here. Be, be cool, man. Be Slow cool, down. man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> wow. So another black slave that wasn't sold, apparently. But he was over there manning the camels and making sure to take care of the, uh, the glass. Glass vessels. Mm, I kind of like that. Muhammad has some game. I'm not going to lie to him. I, I know that's the R&B Hadith right there. there you go. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> He's on that jealousy on him. Right? Yeah, that's not a, the R&B Hadith. <laughs> you know, you need to take care of the glass vessels, baby. Man got that prophetic riz. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. Any others, guys? Any other sources? We, we like can't this? forget. We can't forget my field Negro, Myron, the ship. <laughs> We can't forget the ship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh we definitely oh, can't forget bro. it. Oh, bro. You know what? Yes. I actually <laughs> mentioned it earlier. I, I mentioned coat catchers. And, you know, thank you for bringing that up, Study, because we got to know <laughs> why I call these fools coat catchers. <laughs> <laughs> my brother Safina. My brother Safina. Min Safina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. How did I forget about this? <laughs> oh. All right, hold on, guys, because we actually have, I believe we have someone in the back channel. Um, so here's the Hadith, guys. Here's the Hadith that I'm putting in the link <clears throat> that's showing the Anjasha, who's the black slave who was manning the camels and taking care of the glass vessels. Um, we have a Muslim in the back, I believe, guys. So do you guys want to go and get the sources right now, or do you guys want to bring him up first and deal with this and have some fun here? We can do either way. We can pull up the sources first and then bring them up, or... We can um, bring him up now. We, what do you guys want to do? I'm thinking he might be a right shoulder, and we can't really keep him waiting like that since we left shoulder. So <laughs> we did offer <laughs> right shoulder privileges to everybody. So <laughs> yeah, right, go ahead. Okay. yeah, bring him up. All right, Masha Shua. All right. So we go. Go ahead and bring him up. Um, let's see here. Man, my computer's acting slow, guys. So please bear with me. <clears throat> Come on up. Salam al Masi. Fa'al. Fa al. I believe your name is. He went up and then he went down. Is, is he still there? He's here. Or, okay, no, I guess is, he's gone. Is he on stage? I don't see him. No, he, he just, his thing disconnected. I don't know what it is. But, uh,. All right, in the meantime, man, let's get that ship hadith or the coats hadith, whatever, whatever y'all got. <laughs> Give it to us. Okay, I think it's in the chat. Um, Danny, do you have it? Uh, let me see. Let me see here. I dropped I one it's... in the chat as well, so right. that's pretty I think, long. Uh, I think it's the one you sent to me. It's uh, uh, yeah, I sent it in your Ibn, phone. Ibn Kayyam's, uh book. Pages 115 and 116. Uh, it's quoted from Ahmad, which is 5 222. How do I get this? Uh, give me a second. Let me see if I can get this open. <clears throat> no worries. No worries. Take your time. I tried to put it in the chat, but my, my chat's not working. I put it in earlier. Um, so I was sending it to Danny's phone because when I, whenever I go to the chat, it's not letting me put anything in there. So my device is just tore up from the flow up. So, no, it's good. Yeah, my stuff is a little slow right now too. But I got, uh, I clicked the link that DL that you put in here. Um, now, which one is this one about? It is. Uh, <clears throat> it's about uh, Mohammed cursing a woman and her baby uh, being born with uh, curly hair and dark skin. Mm, it's, it's pretty yeah, lengthy. I see. I don't know if you want to hit it. Oh yes, that's that's right. That's right on schedule. Sorry for my curly head, dark skinned queens out there. If you coming out with those type of features, it may be because someone said Lana to Allah on you. So, 
Sorry about that. Um, yeah, hold on. Let me get this on the screen. All right, our guests are back. Our guests are back. Well, let me let me get this on the screen real quick, and then we'll get to our guests. So this is Sahi. Sahi. Abram. Oh, let me look at this. Sahi Muslim, 1495. Hey, let me go ahead and give you guys this so that you guys can share this with your friends and families. All right. I'm gonna post this in the chat right now. Just give me a second. I can't wait for my computer to come, man. I cannot wait. <clears throat> All this stuff be slowing down my laptop. It can't really handle the camera and the mic and stuff. You need more than 16 gigabytes of RAM, bro. Thanks, Black Doctor. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know I love you, brother. I love you too. Yeah, I've never seen this one before, man. This is crazy. I might have to get this one. Can yep. it, can it? So... <clears throat> this is Sai Muslim, 1495A, 1495A, this is what it say. We were on the night, we were on the night of Friday staying in the mosque when a person from the Ansar came there and said, if a person finds his woman along with a man and he speaks about it, you would lash him. And if he kills, you will kill him. And if he keeps quiet, he shall have to consume anger. By Allah, I will definitely ask about him from Allah's messenger. On the following day, he came to Allah's messenger and asked him thus. If a man were to find his wife with a man, and if he were to talk about it, you would lash him. And if he killed, you would kill him. And if he were to keep quiet, he would consume anger. Whereupon, Muhammad said, Allah solve this problem. And he began to supplicate before him. And then the verses pertaining to Li'an were revealed. Those who accuse their wives and have no witnesses except themselves. <clears throat> the person was then put to the test according to, the te according to these verses in the presence of the people. There came he and his wife in the presence of Allah's messenger, and they invoked curses in order to testify their claim. The man swore four times in the name of Allah that he was one of the truthful and then invoked curse for the fifth time, saying, let, the, let there be curse of Allah, lana to Allah upon him, if he were among the liars. Then she began to invoke curse. Allah's messenger said to her, just wait and curse after considering over it. But she refused and invoked curse. And when she turned away, he, Allah's messenger said, it seems that this woman shall give birth to a curly haired black child. And so she did give birth to a curly haired black child. If you are a curly head black queen, it's because your mama and somebody's daddy was yelling at each other, Lana Tal on you, Lana Tal on you, a lot of all on you, Lana Tal on you. And therefore, here you are <laughs> with all them beautiful curls and that dark skin you got. That S curl. Yeah, that's curl. So, so ba basically, moms and pops was having a uh, mubahala. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, so, Guys, this is Islam. This is Islam. Okay, for the remaining time, let's have a good time here. Our guest is back. Let's see if his connection works. So we should send that to Coach and uh, whatever, because they need to know why they uh, are black with curly hair. But uh, sorry. <laughs> Precisely. Oh, man. All right. Uh, Fa Fa'al, how are you? 
Hello. Uh, how are you doing? Not too bad. Hi, guys. Salam al Masi. Salam al Masi. Hey, how are you doing, Fao? Yeah. Salam al Masi. I'm, I'm, I'm not here to, like, I'm sorry to, I don't mean to waste your time. But, um, yeah, I just want to challenge Uthman. You want to challenge who? Uthman. Uthman. Is he in here? Um, no, he's not here yet. Okay, because I want to ask him where the Uthman. Sorry, I'm kind of kind of breaking up a little bit. You wanted yeah, to ask sorry. Uthman. Uh, so what? I want to challenge Uthman. Mm -hmm. Like, where in the Quran does it says all prophets are Messiah? Because that's a very, very, very false interpretation. I love this because guy. That name was only given to Jesus. So I want to, I, like, as a reader, I want to know from where did he come up with this interpretation. It's Are not a hermeneutic. A... Uh, it's not a hermeneutic interpretation because right. it doesn't fit the time, it doesn't fit the context, it doesn't fit anything for him to say such thing. So that was yeah. the only that was the only thing that I want to bring to the table, and okay. I don't mean to waste your time. No, no, you're I fine. Are, are you a, you're a Muslim yourself? I, I don't. I, I'm not here to represent Islam. I'm just here to represent what people are saying about yeah, Islam. I need, I need to know. I need to know, brother. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm not here to represent Islam. I'm not. I know you, if you're saying you're not here to represent yeah, Islam. I, like I'm, I'm not in a good position to say I'm Muslim or not because I, I, I don't know. Okay. Do, do you denounce? Do you denounce Muhammad as a true prophet? That's another question to ask. Is like, what makes a prophet a prophet? Why would Muhammad be a prophet? So that's another question that I wanted to ask. So is Muhammad a true prophet of God or not? But that's what I want to, like, that's another question. As I told you, I'm a reader. Okay. So that's why I was, like, trying to understand why is Prophet Muhammad considered to be a prophet? So what's, so, you, so you're not a Muslim. What was, what was about him that made him a prophet? Because, for example, in the Quran, it says that Jesus was born as a prophet or with, div with, with divinity. At least that's what I understood. Yeah, that means like from from the time he became a flesh, he was already divine because yeah. he was able to speak from from the first day. So and that's based based on the Quran. So why was Muhammad a prophet? So that's another another question I want to bring up on the table. So just to have a you know a better yeah. under a better understanding. But that's all. All right. Well, but if we're wasting uh, your time, guys. No, it's, yeah. it's all right. You take care of yourself, man, because these are actually good questions that you're asking. Um, on another stream where it's a more open dialogue, I would definitely love to have you back and we could dive into a lot of that stuff. Yeah, but those are the my main two questions that I was hoping that there is a Muslim here who would actually be able to answer those questions, but I don't think they... Yeah, no, it's not going to happen, bro. <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> we'll let you know when we find them. Cheers, guys. Take care. Yeah, Keep going. And, and, and we love your initials. We, we love your initials, Free Effie, and Joshua. Effie. Free and Joshua, so please. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. All right, take God care. Bless. All right, take care. Yeah, uh, I was just going to say, you know, uh, if you can get a hold of uh, Abu Adnan, he could probably help you find uh, Uthman. <laughs> That's cool, <Yeah>. man. <laughs> <laughs> is it is this the real Abbas Aka we got here? This is the real Abbas, my friend. Hello, my friend. You all right? Oh man, Hi. it is Abbas. How you doing, man? Salam al Masih. Alhamdulillah, Salam. Alhamdulillah. How are you, brothers? You okay? We're good, man. We're having a good time, man. Having yeah, time. I just I just heard the last twenty minutes, half an hour. You guys talking about racism in Islam? Um, yes. So yeah, which is actually absolutely unknown to Islam, absolutely nothing to Islam. Actually, mm -hmm. Quran te teaches us the, the actually the opposite. Actually, Allah mm -hmm. says in the Quran that uh, we have created you from one male and one female, and the most noble in the sight of Allah is the most righteous. The one has taqwa, nothing to do with color at all. So one just has need to be righteous to be noble. So where's the racism here? Quran is very clear about that. Actually, in fact, Muhammad uh, sorry, Ashaba says about the black man as his chief. Umar Zilana called Bilal his chief in the hadith. Who did? So Umar. 
Umar is yellow, no? Umar, he what about, what about Muhammad? Did Muhammad call him his chief or anything like that? No, I'm saying his to his companions, they know Islam better than us, obviously. And mm -hmm. they call Bilal his chief. Umar, who was one hey, of the leaders Abbas, of his... Abbas, can I ask you um no, did you did, you did you did did you acknowledge what I said or you want to uh, rebut uh, refute me on that? <clears throat> no, no, yeah. Well, I mean, you said that you had been listening for like an hour and then you came half up an and hour. didn't address half an hour and you came up yeah. and didn't address anything that we said. So, you know, don't I, I know we're giving people right shoulder privileges and I believe you are a right shoulder. Um, but don't get it twisted. Listen, I'm um, sorry. I, I don't I don't I don't understand the term right shoulder. Can you explain what that means? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. We can, we can definitely. Oh, OK. We can. Yeah. All right, man. I mean. Well, you know, I'll, I'll just give you, brother. <laughs> I'll just give you the short and straight to the point, right? Uh, Asahi Hadith, um, when Adam was created, Allah struck his right shoulder, and the white people came out white like ants, right? His offspring came out white like ants, and then he struck his uh, left shoulder, and the black people came out black like charcoal, or his offspring uh, black like charcoal, right? And he said to those on the right, "To paradise, I don't mind. Those on the left, to hell." And I don't mind. It's all good, brother. Right. So the white people are from the right shoulder. The black people are from the left shoulder. Right. The white people are going to uh, Jenna. The black people are going to Johanna. All right. Okay. So so now yeah. um, with that, you you are a right shoulder. Right. And uh, even even I the see. left shoulders get right shoulder privileges up here. Right. Because that's how our brother God logic likes to do it. Um, but I wanted to ask you real quick. What does the name Safina mean? I don't know. Oh, come on. So I'm not Arab. This. Oh, I'm no, not that, Arab, so I wouldn't know the Arabic terms. No. I, I look for I this. Look. Uh, no mm -hmm. problem. I look for this, Avery, but I, for some reason, myself and Scott, we can't um, send the link to it. I don't, I don't know why, but um, what I wanted to do was read it real quick. Can I answer I'll... the can, can I answer the question of the Hadith? You, you oh, asked yeah. the question. Oh, yeah, yeah for right. sure. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, so, so that's a very good thing what you said. That's in the Hadith and not in the Quran. So how, what we Muslims do, we, whatever Quran says, so we, any Hadith, which seems like going against the Quran, either we reject it or either we harmonize it according to the Quran. So Quran is very clear. The most noble in the sight of God is the most righteous. There's no category, rich, poor, black, white, any color. So how we harmonize that Hadith is, is basically those people, where it's mentioned black or white, we're not going to take literally as color. Or complexion we're going to take those people will be they, they will be like shining souls there'll be no dark souls they'll be bright shining souls this is how we harmonize with the Quran we're not going to take it literally it cannot be possible how is cannot be possible because Muhammad Sassam has his black companions and they were people of paradise so what's going to happen to them are they, they the complexions going to be changed? No, we well, don't know about that. I'm, I'm we never learn about that. Good question. Oh, I'm, I'm glad, glad you asked that. that. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> no, but where does he ever say is that the complexions will be changed? <clears throat> well, we're we're going to show you. We're going to show you. <laughs> okay, study, go ahead. Uh, can you tell us study about that creature that's going to come down with the ring of Solomon and the staff of uh, Musa? And start boinking people on the head. What's going to happen? Are you talking about the Jassassa? Uh, the the Jassassa, exactly. Jassassa. Right. It's very important when cousin. you quote when the you Jassassa quote something. My cousin, the it's, That's my, it's very yeah. important when you quote something from Islam. You must quote exactly what it says. It I, I can't. I can't, can't just take your word for it. So whatever you're saying, quote me that creature no, comes Ab down Abbas, and Abbas. the ring of Solomon and all that. Quote yeah, me that. Yeah. that. So, so Abbas, please. Our, 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 my brother through suckling here study. You know, he's what we call in the original Quran only Christians. He's what we call the ink of the Ummah, right? So, so we got the information for you. Don't don't worry. As he stated earlier, it's mm. my pleasure, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's my pleasure. Okay. All right. So the one hadith, one hadith you quoted somebody 15, 20 minutes ago about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi says if among you Ethiopian uh, black person with the uh, raisin head. Well, well, if he well, becomes well, your Abbas, chief, a uh, 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 boss. Uh, let, let's do one at a time, right? Let, let's let's tackle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This. I'm I'm dealing with every uh, confusion you have let, about Islam. I'm dealing let, with everything. Alhamdulillah. Let, 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 let's tackle uh, mm. this hadith about the left shoulder and the right shoulder, right? So we yeah, see yeah. proof of this in your Quran in Surah three one o six, 
where right. some where it says some faces will be blackened and some faces will be whitened, right? And when you go and read the top seer for 3106, you will find out about this character by the name of the Jassassa, right? Uh, who was revealed to Muhammad by a Christian by the name of Tamim Dari, right? So Tamim Dari got paid for giving him this elevation, right? Uh, this he elevation got Tamim Dari a piece of Palestine. So if you look up Tamim Dari, you'll see that he was paid for giving Muhammad this fake elevation. But what this uh, fake elevation says, just like uh, Brother Danny stated, is that there's going to be somebody by the name of Jasasa who's going to have the uh, ring um, and, 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 and a staff. And the good people, he's going to strike on the face and they're going to turn white and they're going to go to paradise. Then mm. to the bad people, he's going to strike them on the face. They're going to turn black and go to hell. Now here, let me read. Are, are you of the Salaf, uh, Abbas? I'm just a Muslim. Okay, so I'm going to read from a hadith. This is Al-Hakim Al-Mustadric 2463. Look at what it says. It says, a black man came to the prophet and said, oh, messenger of Allah, I am a man who is black, foul-smelling, with an ugly face. I have no wealth. If I fight these people until I am killed, where will I be? He said, paradise, of course, left shelter. He, he didn't say left shoulder. I, I added that. I'm sorry. So he said in paradise. <laughs> then he says he fought until he was killed. The prophet came to him and said, verily, Allah has whitened your face. Now, he stood on top of him, right, in the Arabic. Uh, and, and he said, Allah has whitened your face and made your odor pleasant and increased your wealth. And he said to him or someone else, I saw his wife from the wide-eyed horries removing his woolen cloak and placing herself between him and his cloak. This is classed as Sahih by Al-Bani, Al-Hakim, and Al-Dahabi. Now the commentary, pay attention to this commentary. It says, indeed, whoever is killed in the cause of Allah and who had any flaw or deficiency, such as blindness, smelliness, poverty, blackness, lameness, paralysis, or otherwise then martyrdom in the cause of Allah removes all of these flaws and deficiencies. And this is Oymat al-Sada fi Fadio al-Shahada on page 379. So being black is a deficiency according to the Quran and the exegesis <coughs> according to uh, this hadith and this explanation. Well, you said according to Quran. No, according to Quran, black is not deficiency at all. What you're doing is you're mixing uh, hadith, which I don't even know the chain of, the, of that uh, hadith. I don't know what kind of a chain is that because this is neither in Bukhari, neither in Muslim, neither in the other four books, which are the six best books of hadith. So you bring from Mustadak al Hakim. I never read that hadith. And let me tell you something Tafasi are not all 100% accurate. For us, it's Quran. <laughs> What's so funny about it? Black doctor, you might have to no, give him the No, no, what's so, what's so funny he, about he it? That which which world. Muslim which Muslims say that the Tafsis are 100% accurate? I don't find it funny at all. So basically, no Tafsir is 100% accurate. What we take from Tafsir is, as long as whatever Tafsir says is backed by a Sahih Hadith, especially Mutwatir Hadith, not Akbar you know, Ahad. Abbas, Abbas, you're, you're right, man. Uh, you're, I, cutting I you're cutting me, you're cutting me. I'm, no, I'm no, giving an answer. Let me apologize yeah. because, because I laughed. You, you are absolutely right. You don't find Thank it you. funny, but listen, uh, we we have two of my, my brothers up here, Black Doctor and Study, and they mm. don't find it funny, not one bit. Right? Yeah, yeah, so do and, I, so do I'm I. Sure, I'm sure one of them is going to explain it to you, but go ahead and finish what you were yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, and, and I don't find it funny when somebody accused about Islam or accused about the truth. I don't find it funny at all, even if my Muslim brother says that. So what I'm saying, in, in Islam, this, this ahadith where you're bringing it, uh, sorry, I was talking about the seed. The tafsir is not all 100% accurate. We need to see who said what. Is the Prophet Sallallahu said that? We, can we verify it says that? So um, um, my brother, Quran never says that. Quran is very clear. I quote you very clear words. The most noble in the sight of Allah is the most righteous. There's no color. That was the place where Allah should say the most noble is actually has to be the white person. Well, black cannot be noble. So this is the righteous taqwa. Taqwa is where we, we see who is the best. 
So that's the clear words. You bringing something like ambiguous words that those will be black faces will be black and faces will be white. So what we say, we harmonize it that they will be shiny faces and dark faces. Some faces will be ashamed faces. They will be dark faces. That is how we harmonize and modern day scholars also harmonizing in that way. And I already told you, Umar Azirana calling Bilal his chief, a slave, black slave. <laughs> and I want to come back to that hadith about the reason head. Oh, Can I oh, talk about on, that? Hold on, friend. Hold on, friend. Before we, before we do that, before we do that, I want you to recognize what you just did. Okay. I want you to recognize what you just did. Just as Danny pointed out, and as God logic showed, what you did is that you threw the tafsir under the bus. So what you did is that you threw the Islamic scholars under the bus. So, so what I'm going to have to do now, because you are in the realm of the original Quran only Christians, I'm going to have to tell you, my friend, the one rule of the original Quran only Christians. I don't know if you heard it before, but I'm going to have to tell it to you again. Because I'm going to get it. I know. I, I got you, Scott. I got okay. you. Hold on the reins. Keep that belt in there. Keep that belt there. Because I'm going to have to tell him. Hmm. A bus. I'm going to deal with you nice. So I'm going to tell you this nice and clear so that you can get it. Nobody, and I mean nobody, gets to throw Allah, Muhammad, or the Islamic scholars under the bus. If anyone is going to throw Allah, Muhammad, or the Islamic scholars under the bus, it's going to be us. It's going to be us. That's right. That's right. So what you gonna have to Yeshua do? Yeshua Akbar. Yeshua so Akbar. Yeshua Akbar. So what you gonna have to do, Abbas, is not throw the top seer under the bus, but deal with what it says. You done? Well, <laughs> really quick. Abbas, One second. One. You, uh, hold on, let me on, answer Abbas, him. Before you okay, respond, right. hold on. Before you respond, sure, sure. Abbas. Um, um, y'all, I wanna go ahead and give you the opportunity to uh, reply. But you also said something about um, a chain and how strong that chain is. So after you reply, if my brother study can tell you about how strong that chain is compared to another chain. Go ahead. Sure. Abbas. OK. Now, now, brother says that uh, who am I to reject the scholars because he, he somehow seems to be quoting something. How could you uh, reject Allah, messenger and the scholars? And he repeated that, like like he's quoting some Quran or Hadith. Now I'll I'll tell him I'll quote a Quran for him. Quran, nothing nothing bigger authority than Quran. Chapter three, verse fifty nine clearly says, "Ya yuwa lazina amanu, atiyu Allah wa atiyu Rasul, wa uli wa uli amri minkum. Fa inta nazatum, fa inta nazatum fi shayin, fardu ilallahi wa Rasuli. In kuntum tu minuna billahi wal jawm al akhir, zalika khairum wa hasanu taabila." The translation is this. Oh, you who believe, obey Allah and obey the messengers and the leaders among yourself. But this is the main part where it says, but if you disagree among yourselves to come back to Allah and his messenger. So Allah is giving me this authority that if I can't, I can't disagree with anyone other than Allah and his messenger. I don't know what he was quoting. I'm quoting the Quran. So yes, I can disagree with any scholar if I find what they're saying is not right, not going with the Quran and Sunnah. So there you go. Go and read chapter 3, verse 59, and then never ever quote what you just said because you're quoting some scholars, not Prophet, not Allah. I'm quoting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when I disagree with some scholars, there has to be a reason. Not because I don't like what he says. There has to be a reason. So when the scholar says something going against the Quran, I'm saying, I'm sorry, you're a very knowledgeable person. But here you cannot be accurate. And I quote you, Imam Malik. Imam Malik says that you can disagree with anyone, any human being other than that man. The... Sorry about that. My son just entered the room. Uh, sorry about that. So Imam Malik said that you can disagree with anyone other than Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He himself is a scholar. He say you are, anyone can disagree with anyone. So because scholars okay. are not infallible, even not Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when it comes to religion, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is infallible because he is protected by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So that's my answer to you. I have a question. What if we disagree with Imam Malik and point out that you have to take Allah, Muhammad, and the Islamic scholars and what they say? Is is, Islam, is 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 Imam Malik smarter than the Sahaba? 
Get very good point. Very good point. Forget about Imam Malik. Then go back to the Quran, where Quran says. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on, hold on, friend. Hold on, friend. You brought Imam Malik. You were the no, one who no, brought no. him up. So, so no. how are you immediately going to bring him up and then do like you did with the others? I am. I am. I'm. Okay. Hold hang on, on a minute. Hold on, okay. Hold on. Hold on. What you did is you brought Imam Malik. I pointed out that I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Inconsistent. You you like your you like your own voice, don't you? Oh, hold on, you like hold your own on. voice. No, dude, you interrupted me. Yeah, man. yeah, you. No, you, you like your own voice, didn't you? Malik under the bus along. What, what happened to the Quran? What happened to the Quran? I caught you. Why can't you? Why can't you just deal? No, what happened the to the Quran? Line? I caught you. How, what happened to the Quran? Am I gonna? Am I gonna be able to actually finish? No, because of you ignoring the Quran. Right, well, I, right, I quote you. The, I quote you the Quran, and you pointing at Imam Malik. I say, forget about Imam Malik. Then, what about the Quran? Done? What I said about the Quran? Are you done? Yes, Are I am done? done. Answer me that. The Islamic scholars read those passages in the Quran, and they still said what they said. So, what they said they believed was not in contradiction to what the Quran says. So you are not the authority to determine what contradicts the Quran. You have to deal with the Islamic sources placed in front of you and placed as your authority. No, you my see, authority is Quran. Is, this, is why you, this is why you couldn't let me finish. Quran is and, my yardstick, not scholars. Nobody say are, scholars are my yardstick. No, you're forcing so, your so, opinion so, on me. So let, let, let me answer him real quick. Sure. Let free free this left shoulder from his own slavery. Yeah, yeah, we we did. <laughs> that was we, funny. We, listen, listen, listen. Now, Abbas, you did tell us a fib because Danny asked you if you knew what a safina was, and you said that you didn't know what a safina was. Then you went on to quote a verse in Arabic, right? It wasn't Arabic, but it was Arabic, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> so you so you spoke Arabic, so we know that you know what safina is, right? So so. What we want you to do... I don't we, know what Safina is. Okay. Know. Okay, so, so how do you say ship in Arabic or in Arabic? I'm I'm not an Arab, Arab. I don't know how you say ship oh. in, in Arabic. I'm not Arabist. Okay, 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 okay. So okay. just get on the mute button and let me explain to you. Right. We did go to your Quran and we went to a verse talking about some faces will be blackened, some faces will be whitened, right? Then we gave you the interpretation. You had never heard that... Uh, verse before right then we showed you a hadith where your uh prophet spoke we also went to albani who is the greatest islamic scholar in the last 200 years he says that it is sahih and chain then we quoted uh you know al mustadric which he graded as sahih talking about black people right so we did not make any of this up. We also have uh, Sahih Bukhari. We, we went through about 10 hadiths from Sahih Bukhari uh, where selling to black people, uh, well, that was Sahih Muslim, was the equivalent of selling animals. So black people are classified as animals according to Sahih Muslim 1602. So we're not making anything up. Now, the chain on the hadith, I'll, I'll have you know that I have ijazah. I'm sitting here, brother. And I'm sitting here on about 17 foot of beard. I got seven. I got a 17 foot beard. 15 of it is red, brother. That's how don't, don't, don't make me don't we make know, me feel listen, like listen, don't listen, make me feel like listen, that. I enter in the comedy show. Please let, don't make me feel let, like let, that. Let me finish. Let, just just be serious. Yeah, when you talk, bro, the, talk, bro, talk, bro, talk bro, serious. Bro, there it's is not, a hikmah. It's, it's not, there it's is not a comedy going on here, bro. Abbasaga, there is a hikmah. Just listen to the hikmah. All is in the beard, bro. You got to listen to it. Pay attention. Well, Go ahead, brother Scott. So you are not alone, brother, by the way. Listen, 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 listen. I tried to <laughs> cut my beard off and I was jogging and then Jabril caught me in the middle of my jog and put, put my beard back on. So this is how <laughs> serious my beard is. 17 foot long, 15 foot of red. Okay. So I have Ijazah. The chain on that Hadith is stronger than the chain that Allah is going to stick in people's butt in, in uh, Surah 6932. So there's a chain that's made with all of the iron in the world that uh, Allah is going to stick in people's anus and through their mouth in Surah 6932. The chain on that hadith is stronger than that chain. You love your tafasi, don't you? <laughs> you, know, you love I your tafasi, you don't know, you? I love the scholars, man. You know, <laughs> yeah, you love your tafasi. Scott, Scott I, 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 can, I can tell that that's why you don't follow Islam. If you follow Quran and Sunnah, you would have been still be a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Interesting. 
Yeah. Wait, Avery, Avery, I just find it funny that the man <coughs> doesn't know Arabic. He doesn't know any of the sources that we're bringing up, but apparently he knows more than all the other scholars we're bringing up. Correct. Hey, brother, yeah. can I say something about that? Abbasara? If you go to Surah 459, it talks about the Wa'ulul uh, Amri Minkum, meaning those yeah. who are in authority. You have to yes. refer to them if you have a disagreement, right? Yeah. Why are you going against the Quran, bro? Nobody says, read the further. Yeah, I, was, say, I, was, I was thinking, nobody, but it says, brother, if you disagree uh, among yourselves, then come so back to Allah and His your, Messenger. Your, your tafsir already made it clear. What are you talking about, dude? No, 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 no. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You just said the Quran Who? says follow your scholars. Yes. But no, it, it said if you, dude, dude, if you, if you have a disagreement after Allah, you know, Allah and His Messenger revealed something. If you have a disagreement, you have to refer to those, uh, you know, who are in authority. Uh, no, 459, no, no, no. bro. No, dude, you're lying. Dude, you're lying. I'm uh, sorry to say, God but you're lying. Can you bring it up? Let's yes, uh, bring, spank bring this it guy. Up. Bring he's been up. running yeah, for he's been running uh that was on your show actually uh, god logic it was uh like a year ago abbas Aga, you came up and you promised to me that you would bring the hadith about aisha uh you know being um uh having menses before uh the age of nine i have been still waiting and you didn't keep your promise but i'm not gonna hold it against you right now you're lying again I, you're lying oh again goodness. i god challenge logic, you, you to were show there, right? me the i challenge you challenge you to show me that I ever said 459. That, 459. that she had menses before nine. I would never say that because I dude, never dude, read dude. It, it's, anything it's like that. It's on his show. Okay. Yeah, it's, a, I, it's, a, it's an old clip, but you know. No, no. It, it's a, I, I, I want you to prove it because I, I am saying you're lying. So and you don't I, remember me? You don't remember Al Masihi? You don't remember I, that I, I had I remember a you, but I, okay, I don't cool. remember didn't saying we talk that. About the, didn't we talk okay. about Aisha? Okay, one didn't second. We talk one, about Aisha? one second. Can I say something, please? Okay. Just, hey, hey, dude, breath. dude. Abbasara, we're going to talk. Take a deep, breath. Take a no, deep no, no. breath. Let me say something. You just make a, a claim that I, the Quran says that if you disagree, then mm -hmm. go back to the scholars. 459, I want, open I, up. I want you to show that in the Quran. If you are wrong, then you, I want you to apologize. Uh, so no, no, no. Go ahead. If I'm wrong, I will apologize. Yeah, Quran yeah. didn't say that. What do you said? Four verse fifty-nine. Wa ul wa ul amri minkum. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, yeah. brother. I'm sorry. Ul al amri minkum means the leaders among yourselves. But you said if you disagree, got, the, then go back to the leaders. Right? Yes, please read it. I got the verse here. I got the yes. verse. Go on then. It says, "All you who believed, obey Allah and obey the Messenger and those in authority among you. And if you disagree over anything, refer to it. Refer it to Allah and the Messenger." If you should, mm -hmm. if you should believe in Allah in the last day, okay. and and so, best in results. So, so you said so, you said earlier, if you disagree, <clears throat> then go to your leaders. Verse mm -hmm. didn't say that. He says, so, believe okay. in, believe in Allah, obey Allah, obey uh -huh. the messenger, and the leaders among yourselves. But if you Good. disagree, go to who? Allah and His messenger. So what Beautiful. you said was totally wrong, and you're supposed to be. No, no, no. Hold speaker. on, hold on, hold on, bro. So. Who who actually brings the revelation? This is the, another second, question. Yeah. No, 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 hang on a minute. You just said you, one you're second. I need off. to go. One second. You're, ba you're backing off. Right. Okay. That's very convenient. Um, well, anyway, the, work. the point I was making, this brother who say he has a long beard, I am so surprised, so shocked that you are talking about the treatment of slaves when you say he sells two slaves like animals. Have you read your Exodus twenty one? How the Ooh. slaves have been treated. Have you read it? How Noted when it, if, if 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 the ox gore ox ox kill a normal person, not a slave person, that person should be killed. If he's if he, if he knows the ox is uh, killing people, uh, yeah, if he didn't do anything about. But if he kills slave, what are you supposed to do? Not killing that owner, but give thirty shekels to the other owner. If you this is the black, black, this is the are, this is the value of are, slaves you have in your own Bible, and you can even shuffle. you can even kill your own slave. So, in so, our Exodus so, 21. So, 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 so how so, can so. how can with the straight face you talking about the treatment of slaves in Islam? In fact, what you said was totally wrong anyway. So, notice, so, so, notice, so, so, notice, wait, wait, Scott, Scott, before you do this, notice the number one, notice the Muslim shuffle. He couldn't answer for his own text. And so I he can. went to our Bible. I can. Number two. Number two I number do. Two, uh, Abbas, but I can't Abbas. take hypocrisy. Abbas, Abbas, mute up, fam. Mute up. You got your spiel. You got to cry and run to the Bible. And I will respond. Number two, even if those claims were true, which they're not, what you've done is display a two quoque fallacy, which means, well, it's it's you it's wrong in your religion too. 
That just means that you just condemned both religions. It's not. I, do, do you have a problem with hearing? Do you have a hearing problem? Did you, did you hear I said? Did you hear I said what you said about Islam is wrong anyway? I didn't say both are wrong. I say what you heard of Islam is wrong anyway. I never, I never said that you said both are wrong. I'm saying this is the logical conclusion. You're but I didn't say what you said. It's a, it's a, it's a wrong equivalence. Can you let me finish? But don't because lie. You're too, please. Because you're busy running. You can mouth. finish, but don't lie about me. I never uh, lied to you. Abbas, yeah, you did. Uh, Abbas, Abbas, I need you to stop interrupting him, man. I need I need this to progress. So All right, go on, then, go on, go on. Yeah, hell, he only does it when I do it. He only does it when I speak. So so what you've done is you've displayed a two quokely fallacy. You said if you're going to condemn the, the Quran for this, you're going to have to uh, condemn the Quran, the Bible for this. Even if that was true, which it's not. The only thing that you've proven is that both religions are wrong. It doesn't save yours. It doesn't prove the Quran true. So it does not help you. Running to the Bible does not help you. You have a responsibility to answer for what the text says. Your own sources say that your prophet sold two black slaves for an Arab one. Deal with what that says, bro. Is it right or is it wrong? And a slight point here just for correction. In Exodus 21, if a man kills his slave, he's to be put to death. So I don't know why a boss, I don't, I don't think you lied, but you're just mistaken there. Um, you're misinformed. No, no, no. Here, here. Wait, wait, hold, hold up, Avery. He said earlier that if we don't quote the whole thing verbatim, then we're liars. Yeah. So actually, if, if this, okay, if, okay. If, so he is if, a liar. Can I answer? Can I answer? Who, yeah, are, who shall I answer first? Yeah, who shall I answer first? You're, you're going you're gonna to answer uh, Black Doctor. I'm just bringing the clarity here about the verse. The verse says, that if a man were to kill his slave, then he's supposed to be put to death. Um, but that's unlike, and, and you and you was and you misconstrued that and said, uh, "Well, yeah, look at the treatment of your slaves. This is horrible because you don't even kill this the 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 owner. The owner doesn't die for killing his own slave. He's allowed to do it, and nothing happens to him. That's horrible. But that's actually in your Quran. You got to confuse. It's in the Quran where um, Allah says it's a uh, it's a slave for slave." Free man for free man, female for yeah, female. Yeah, that's the chapter of the heifer. You have chapter two, verse one hundred seventy-eight. Two one seventy-eight. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that you, by I mean, like, what what is it called when I think it was a Freudian slip where you was actually condemning yep. the Quran, correct? Um, but thought you was doing that to the Bible. But you can go ahead and respond to Black Dog. You beat okay. the heck uh, out of your Quran. I now. can. At a, every single of your uh, query, I would say confusion. I will answer it, inshallah. Uh, it's almost this when you guys are talking, it reminds me of that verse in the Quran, chapter 3, verse 7. That those people who have illness in their heart, they will understand the way they want to understand. Every single thing you said is wrong. <laughs> Every single thing you said is wrong. Let no, me answer God logic about your exodus. First of all, let so me answer cute. Black Doctor. Aww. Let me answer Black Doctor. He said, uh, he's using that I, I'm attacking, I'm saying, okay, well, you have the same problem, so does we have the same problem. I never said that. He lied about me. I said, how can you talk about the slaves when your Bible even has worse treatment of slaves? And then I explained what the treatment was. And then I say, even though what you quoted about Islam, about two slaves, is also wrong what you said. You totally come out of context what you said, because that Hadith never said. They were two black slaves were changed for one white slave. It doesn't say because of their color. How do you know it was because of their color? Because the slave can be valued for, by, by his knowledge, by his experience. Maybe he, he, he's better in communicating or, or, or in dealing as, as a slave. Or so maybe happens, not black. It, it, happen, it happens to be that person who, who's Arab and there was the other two black. That it doesn't say it's because of the color. So why you are going because of the color? Because Hadith didn't say that. He, because Muhammad doesn't think that slave was more beneficial. So he exchanged that. He, he found him more valuable with the two black slaves. Because he was not black. It, it, it doesn't say it's because, no, because somebody mentioned the color because that was a fact. He's changed that Arab with the two black slaves, not because of their black. It doesn't say it's why. But you are going the most negative you, you can find Why is it called the black because, they were, because because they were black anyway. So this is my answer. You like it or yeah. not like it? Yes, up to you. you. Then you said about Exodus. Take it or leave it. This is this and, is my waffle. Take it or leave it. Yeah, absolutely. Take it or leave it. No worries. Don't don't, don't respond. Don't don't. don't yeah. do oh, okay, okay, okay. This is this is not your comedy show. My answer time. Yeah, you stay quiet now. Mute yourself. 
You're now you, you, you talk about Exodus. <laughs> you didn't you, you talk, hello, excuse me, mute yourself. Do you have a mute button? Do you know how to use it? Mute it. Yeah, that's Do that's you? what I'm about. Talk to him, my boss. Do you? <laughs> Uh, I've been I, talking I, this whole time. You ain't mute once. So why, well, so why this you guy, gonna be a this guy, this guy really likes his voice. Okay, 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 okay. Let me, let me, let me, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me answer Exodus. Okay, go, go ahead, go, go ahead, go ahead. In Exodus, you said that if he killed his slave, he should be put to death. But you forgot the next verse and the verse after. He said, but if the slave dies two days later. Wait, wait stop. I'm sorry. Yeah. I have to stop you there. One, one second. Wait, wait, what? no, I have to stop you there. No, I mean, no, why, 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 why do you have to stop me there? No, no, I didn't stop you there. I'll tell you why. Why you can finish your statement, but I can't. I'll, I'll tell why? you why. Because no, no, I, I, I could have tell you why as well. No, I'm gonna let you go. Unbelievable, man. You guys are unbelievable. I'm gonna let you go, but I didn't forget the next verse. You did. I'm only addressing what you said. Your specific statement was, according to your Bible, a man can just kill his slave with no punishment. Now, stop running away and, and try to go to the I'm going church. to prove that. Wait, I'm going to prove that. Okay, so you, you mentioned... I'm going to prove that why I said that. Wait, wait, I don't, I, okay, hold on. Just, just pause for a second. Is it true or false that according to Exodus 21, a man goes unpunished for killing his slave? Yes or no? A man go unpunished for killing his slave is true. Okay, so in yeah. the verse that it says, if a man kills his slave, then he should be put to death. Are you just like skipping that verse or? Do you want me to open Exodus 21? Yeah, yeah, just go ahead and read it. Okay. Do you remember what you just said? Yeah, remember what you is said. Is it true? Is this true that according to Exodus 21, a man can go free for killing his slave? Mm -hmm. And I say yes. All right, good. Because when the, when the verse says, the verse. if the slave, shall we put the verse? Do you know where it is? Exodus 21? No, we're not going to help you with your lie. You quoted it. You 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 got the run in your mouth. So run your fingers, do some keyboards to hide, and look okay. it up. Go go to one of those dollar sites. Type in what do I say to the Christians about slavery? You okay. made this bed lie in it. Exit it. Okay. And, 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 can you can, and, can you hear me? And, and, and we're gonna can have a good time me? after you finish this. Exodus uh, twenty one. Can you not open on the screen? Exodus twenty one verse twenty. Sure. So let, let's read it. Mm -hmm. Free my left shoulder. You want me to take oh, care of it, Avery? Lord. Free my left shoulder. Oh, Lord. 21, 20, and 21, two verses we're going to read. And then uh, can I address him afterwards? Because he's he's going he, to really, really sure. be in for something. Sure. Okay. And I'm going to prove the, through those verses that a man can go unpunished by killing his own slave. Okay. Yeah, as I said. Remember, remember the claim. If a man unalives a slave, he does not go. You're, you're on YouTube. You're, I didn't say YouTube. that. I didn't say that. That's exactly this what you said. This man is funny. Exactly this, is funny. Said, this man is funny. This That's man is exactly funny, man. Seriously. Yeah. This man is I did it. He said if rewind a man it. Kills rewind his slave, it. He goes unpunished. Rewind it. Exactly rewind it. You just said. Okay, you guys have a habit of I'm sorry to say a habit of lying, don't you? But and I and I well, have a very good habit. I have a very good habit of catching liars all the time. The absolute bloody irony. I say I you say rewind it. You make a claim. Rewind it. I tell everyone to remember and repeat the exact same thing. Word for word, bar for bar, beat for beat. Then you say, oh, I'm lying. That's not what I said. Bro, are you kidding me? You done? So here, this guy, here. Answer this, this guy loves his, this loves his voice. Answer, this guy loves his voice. Question. I have for sure. Okay. Answer this question. May I, am I allowed to speak or not? Go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. You're allowed okay. to answer earlier, the earlier, question. earlier, earlier. Earlier, I caught you. I caught you all supposed, supposed to be Arabic speaker. I caught him red handed lying and he just runs away from stream. Uh, and now the second guy, he's lying again. I never what said what happened. he said. What I said was this and listen carefully. I say, according to your Exodus 21, a man can kill his slave and go unpunished. That's exactly and what I said. And, and, and I'm going to prove that. 
and I'm going to prove that. How about that? Oh my God. Are you ready for that? Are you ready? Yep. Sure. Re okay. Read the verse. Okay. Exodus 21, uh, verse 20. Uh, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm on the, my, my phone right now. It's pretty small right here. Right Can you read right it? Right here on the screen. Yeah, when yeah, it's quite small. When a man slave, male or female, with a rod, and the slave dies under his hand, he shall be avenged. Shall he be avenged if he's killed by a slave owner, a boss? Okay. Carry on. No, no, answer the question. Two According to this, is read there two verses, man. It's your, it's, your, it's your Bible. Be proud of it. Just read it. Can you answer the question? Yeah, I read two verses, then I'll answer your question. Okay, wait, we just read the verse. Is he Stewart. supposed to be punished if he kills his slave? Yes or no? <laughs> Can you read two verses, please? Yes or no? You're really making me love you guys right now. Yeah. I know. I know this is funny. It's tough for Muslims. Uh, yes or no? <laughs> oh, my God. First verse says it should, he should be avenged, right? It so says should one the, verse. Is the slave owner going to be punished if he kills his slave? Uh, the first verse says he should be avenged, okay? He so doesn't explain. He yes? doesn't explain what event going to be here. Is that a he yes? He doesn't. He doesn't explain. He doesn't explain what event going to be here. Avenged, yes, it says. It says. Death. It says avenged. Yes, but the next verse says if so, he so dies a day answer, or two. Before the next verse is the answer yes. The first verse answer is he will be avenged. He he should be avenged. Yes. Thank Over so the next right. verse. Now we'll move on. Over the next verse. So at first and you said the the slave owner. Uh, doesn't get punished for killing a slave. We just saw that you lied about that. The I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I did not. Him. Now, just mute him. I, I said that. You just, see, just you him. are so ashamed of reading the next verse. Now, verse and I can 21. See. I can see why. Now, verse 21. But if the slave survives a day or two, he is not to be avenged, for the slave is his money. Thank you. So now this shows. Now. This shows. That if the slave master hit his slave or something like that, he did not mean to kill him. He did not mean to, to murder him or anything like this. This is why he doesn't get killed because it's an accident. This is the context behind this, which is why as you keep reading the context further on down, it gives you another situation and then finishes all of this <laughs> off with when a man strikes his the oh, eye of the slave, Kavira. male or female, and destroys it, he shall let the slave go free because of his eye. If he knocks his tooth out of the slave, male or female, he should let the slave go because of his tooth. Why? Because the verses we read before it. But if there is harm, then you shall pay life for life. That's what it means to be avenged. Eye for an eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for Hello. foot. Hello, no Your commentary brain. here. No commentary. Only we're, read we're reading <laughs> verses 24 and 25. Are you blind? Uh I said 20 and 21, yes? When when you talk about 20, why don't you don't stop on 21? Why you have to carry on? So, 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 so Abis, Abis, no, 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 no. I'm going to deal with the God logic. I'm going to deal with him. I don't want third person coming in. Listen, 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 listen. Don't, don't yeah. start screaming. I have not swung the belt No, yet. because you, I'm going to answer are him. You screaming like I'm, like, like I'm beating you, and I, I haven't even I, taken I, my belt I am off. not going to you answer you. I'm going to answer him. Hey, Avery, 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 Avery. You guys are panicking. Avery, it's gotten to the point where we're just going to have to muzzle this guy until we can actually get the point across. Because he knows he's cooked, but he's <laughs> he's crying out because he doesn't yeah, want to. Yeah, everybody knows he's cooked. I, I, I don't so, think. So, I don't. So, I, so, so, hold, hold on. Listen. Hold on. Listen, hold, on listen. hold on. Hold on, Abbas. Hold on, You Abbas. guys yeah. cannot even take a criticism about your own fake book. We're, and how dare you talking about online and messenger? We're literally addressing it this right is, now. Don't this make This is your love limit. Love. This is your limit. This is your level. This is your level. You cannot answer. You cannot stand by your book. Don't make me muzzle you. Abbas, 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 let me answer you. Let me answer you. So you just said fake book, where if you go to Sahib Bakari, 6614, Allah claims they have written the Torah with his own hand. So this is Allah's book according to Allah. So you just call Allah's <laughs> book fake. Now I want you to go to Deuteronomy 23, 15. Deuteronomy, which means repeat law. So it's the second law. Look at what it says. It says, you shall not give up to his master, a slave who has escaped from his master to you. He shall dwell with you in your midst in the place that he shall choose within one of your towns, wherever it suits him, you shall not. So if you mistreat a slave and the slave runs away, then they are given safe refuge, right? So 
you don't want to mistreat a slave because if I were to mistreat a slave and then the slave went to black doctor's house, black doctor would have to take care of the slave. Now, who is black doctor going to go to for compensation? He's going to come to me. He's going to say, your slave ran away because you did this to him. I cannot uh, give him back to you because the word says that I cannot give him back to you. You caused him to run away. So now you have to pay for the upkeep of the slave. So the Bible protects indentured servants, right? You are not to mistreat uh, indentured servant. Whereas in your Quran, one of the stupidest verses was revealed. Surah 2, 178, where it says, a slave for a slave and a free for a free. So if you were to kill a slave, then you would just pay the price of the slave, right? The owner does not get punished. All he has to do is pay uh, the price of the slave. If you kill somebody else's slave, then you just pay them the price of the slave. So the owner never gets killed. If you kill somebody's wife, according to that verse, you pay the price of the wife. Whoever killed the wife uh, doesn't get killed. So this is what 2178, a slave for a slave and a free for a free means. Our Bible is holy, gives protection to people, right? Um, and, and, and it's clearly stated that you are to uh, do unto others as you want done unto thee in the Torah. So if you don't do that, then the price would be the slave running away. And then one of your brothers <laughs> or sisters having to give that slave uh, refuge. Avery. You mind, so, you mind if I take care of the rest of this one? Well, we, we, go ahead, Danny. You you were first. Well, I I just want to do uh, clarify what what you were saying there. Uh, study is um, Allah's solution to a, a man murdering a slave is to just let two murderers go free, slave for a slave. So I'm a master. I kill your slave. You as a master, you come over and kill one of my slaves, and then both of us are good. Exactly. We both good. Yeah. We we both we, we both going to the camel urine ball. <laughs> injustice after injustice. And it, it, it's funny. It, it's funny how, how people like a boss, they can't actually defend their own false prophet and their own disgusting religion. So they have to lie about ours. And to the point where they have to lie on Christians, too. We just saw from the text. He was blatantly wrong. Anyone who unalives their slave is to be avenged. That man is to be unalived. I'm not on TikTok anymore. This this man deserves not to be killed. I'm like, dude. <laughs> I, I'm I'm in that zone. I'm in that zone. I'm trying to take care of myself. Uh, yeah. He's supposed to be killed. <laughs> eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, hand for a hand. But since this this Abdul, this absolute Abdul, cannot stand the word of God when it's actually read in context. He's going to cry. He's going to scream. He's going to run because context is the death of every single Anjasha, every single Momo maid who tries to run from their false prophet, runs their front, run from their false religion and come to our book. And notice he didn't touch a thing from the sources that we went to. We begged him to, asked him to, pleaded with him, but they can't because they're too ashamed of their prophet. They're too ashamed of their scholars, so they have to throw all of it under the bus. And what did I say earlier? Nobody gets to throw Allah, Muhammad, or the Islamic scholars under the bus except us. <laughs> Believe that. That's right. Did a boss run? No, I had to drop him, but he can come back up. Oh, okay, okay. All and right. uh, I don't, I don't think that he knew who the Jassassa was. Right. Okay. He, he, right. Right. That's the only be, way you can oh, stop Muslim right refuting away. you. Right. Uh, Andre, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. There's monologue after monologue. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. And then everything you said about a holy book of yours, everything you said about it has such a deep hole. Every single point that I can take you very deep on every single hole. Let me deal with uh, Exodus twenty one twenty one. How you try to dodge it. The word says, if the slave die a day or late later, two days later, then he will not be punished. And then God logic say, oh, that was because it shows his accident. You know what? Accident, you can kill the same day as well. So why killing the same day? Accident can happen same day. You can kill somebody by accident. 
but here precisely say but if he died day or two day later that means from those injuries was put on him that slave died no punishment whatsoever this is the treatment of your bible and you are running away from it if you go further down verse 28 to 32 it tells you give you double standards if you're killing a normal person you will be killed if you're killing a slave 30 shekels throw to the slave masters and that's it that's the value of life in your slaves in the bible so i i only go to the bible because i see your hypocrisy i can answer every single of your confusion about islam alhamdulillah as long as i know allah says in the quran and you prove that right when truth has come falsehood perish for by its nature falsehood is bound to perish that's why you have to put me down and then give monologue after monologue that I can't answer, I can answer every single of you, whatever you're saying about Islam, because whatever you're saying is out of context, misconceptions, so you're spreading half truth, half lies, making a cocktail. That's how you try, you try to disprove Islam. Everything you ask about Islam, I can answer. I only go to your book because I can't see the hypocrisy of you. How could you say about the Bible, uh, Quran says this, but the Bible says more than that. So ask me any question about the Quran you have, I, I won't go to your book. Because you're too scared to talk about your book. Ask me anything about the uh, Islam. I actually wanted to ask, answer the question, but you don't want me to answer the question about the raisin head. Because that's against your mis misunderstanding. I'm going to prove it to you that Hadith is actually the opposite of racism. Can I okay. talk about that Hadith? Yeah, just one second. Thanks for the monologue. So again, just one second, fellas. Again, you lied about what i said in the text says it doesn't say that if the slave survives that he that the slave master goes unpunished it says that he won't be avenged meaning he won't get the capital punishment for killing the person um but what we see here is the effect and the punishment that the that the slave owner does give does get because the context says eye for an eye tooth for a tooth hand for hand, foot for foot, and so on and so forth. So when a, a man strikes his slave, male or female, um, and when a man strikes the eye of his slave, uh, he has to let the slave uh, the slave go. Um, tooth, heart, bring so any that harm to him. Yes, how how that's eye for an eye then? Did I interrupt you? Stop interrupting him. Did I interrupt, interrupt you? No, you but you say eye for an eye, but did the slave eye you? But did his eye doesn't go. Did I interrupt you? All right, go on. Thank you so much. So the context already butchers you. So please stop lying about what the text says. The text says he doesn't. He's not going to die if the uh, slave survives. But the punishment here is, is that he has to let the slave go free. He lo loses out on his money, um, and it's an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, and so on and so forth. It's no coincidence that in the context that's mentioned right after God talks about eye for eye, tooth for tooth, and things of this nature. However. In your Quran, since you came here to try to demean the Bible and show how this is an evil act if the slave owner uh, 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 goes unpunished, you said this is even worse because the slave owner doesn't get punished if he kills a slave. He can just kill a slave and nothing happens to him. That's what you said. So that means that you just condemn the Quran because it's actually your Quran that allows that. With your Freudian slip, it's actually the Quran you're condemning, not the Bible. So what you need to do is deal with your Quran that says it's a slave for a slave in the case of murder. That if a free man murders a slave, then that free man who owns that free man who just had a slave murdered can go murder that free man's slave. So now you got two slaves dead. You got an innocent. You got two innocent slaves dead. Two free men still alive. Guess the deed is done. That's what That's you got. Right. That's right. You want to talk about that verse? You want to talk about that verse? Avery, I don't on. want to Avery, drag Avery, on to Bible. I don't want to drag on to Bible. You obviously don't want to talk about the Bible on, in the context. You want to talk about the Quran? On. Let's go to the Quran. Be before we move on, I do want to point out the other lie that he made. The other lie that he made. He pointed out in the latter parts of Exodus 21, uh, beginning at verse 28. He tried to argue when, uh, when an ox gores a man or a woman to death, the ox shall be stoned and the flesh shall not be eaten, but the owner of the ox shall be liable. He made the argument that if an ox gores a person, that person who owns the ox shall be stoned. That's not true. But instead, the ox shall be stoned. He then says that apparently it's a lesser sentence for a slave. But that's not true. Wow. It says in verse 32, if the ox gores a slave, male or female, the owner shall give to their master 30 shekels of silver and the ox shall be stoned. There is an even greater 
price for the de- for the un- for the death of a slave than it is for the death of a free man. You not only have to stone the ox, but you have to pay the person, the owner, over $600 worth of silver. That boy be lying. You are a liar. May I? I, 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 no, no, I, no, no, one second, one second. Oh, he, oh, he, accu- he accused me of lying. I want to answer him. Listen, listen, Please, listen, it's, listen, it's only listen, fair. Listen, listen, if it's listen, only listen, fair, listen. I have to answer him. Please, listen, listen. Please, listen. Listen. We, we are, Please we, we are, we, we, we are. We are. Okay, don't we change are. the topic then. Stay but, but, on Exodus no, 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 chapter no, no, verse no, 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 no. 21, listen, 28. Please, I, I, stay I'm on that. I'm going to speak for 20 seconds. We want you to be truthful with our text, just like we're being truthful. I am. Okay, just like we're being truthful with your text, because right now, People think that your first name is that boy, your middle initial is B, and then your last name is lying. So your name is that boy B lying. Okay, we want you to change your name. <laughs> we want you to change your reputation up here. So, you know, start to look at the man in the mirror, you know what I'm saying, and ask that man to change his ways. Okay? okay. You so done? going forward, no more lies. Go ahead. You done? Okay, I didn't lie in the first place anyway. But he read verse 28 and verse 32 like there is nothing in the middle. Like there's no verse 29, no 30, no 31. Just read 28 and 32 and just see 1 plus 3 is 2. Whatever. Rubbish. Read 28 to 32. Am I going to teach you your own Bible right now, Black Doctor? Am I? You want to learn you want you want to learn your Bible? You want to learn your Bible from a Muslim? Alhamdulillah, why not? I'm here to teach you. You, Let's you read from to, verse 28. The yes, 28 to 32, all cool, of it. Cool, cool. Don't it's, miss it, the fun. middle it's, bit. Cool, Don't miss fun. the middle bit. Cool, that's cool. Co- it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, that's because called, you didn't, that's called con- insincerity. It's it's fun because doctor, you didn't hear about black, context a little bit earlier. Yes, Dan? Black doctor, <laughs> yeah, one second. Um, My phone is dying, guys, so I'm going to have to uh, jump off. But uh, Salam al Masi. To all my Christian brothers and sisters, I should have said this earlier, but I didn't. Please forgive me. Um, salam al Masih to the Christian brothers and sisters. Salam al Muta to any Shias watching the stream. Salam al Zina to our friend Abbas and any other Sunni. May Allah um, bring you to light from darkness. Uh, I mean. And and salam al <laughs> salam al Bitta <laughs> to the Quranists. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> God bless you guys. Abbas, um, CP said he needs his potato yeah. back. Come back, come guys, back in light from darkness. Good. Yeah. God, 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 God bless you. Uh, All right, Danny. Thank you, Danny. So Go on. on. My Peace out, brother man. So this, so this, so this absolute Abdul thinks he can teach the black. Oi, 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 oi! You are funny, aren't you? He thinks he can. He thinks you he are can so teach funny. The black I'm doctors. going to teach you. I'm going to teach so you right we'll, now. So, we'll, so hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, Abbas. Hold on, Abbas. Sit down. Grab a pen. Grab a paper. So the black doctor will actually teach us something. I'm standing on your head right now. I'm They're telling you to read. I'm read. I'm standing on your head. Read. That's Don't right. Abbas, talk read. to him, Abbas. Talk your ish, Abbas. Hold, hold, read. Hold on. Hold on, hold on fam. Hold I'm on, standing, fam. I'm standing I, I, on your head. You're looking up at me. I, I read. Ain't your, I ain't your Demi. I ain't your Demi. Read. I ain't your Demi. Verse 28 to 32. You, Not you, 28 and 32. I, read. I, I ain't one of them black Hebrew Israelites. Go on. Let's see. Let's Muzzle see up. as the as the brother says, Muzzle seek the up. truth. Let's read the truth. Muzzle up. Read five verses. Muzzle up. <laughs> I know you've been muzzled up all the time, so you want everybody to be treated like you. Good, up. good on you. Go on and read. Go on. Muzzle up, because apparently context is foreign to you. So let's read the whole thing. When an ox gores a man or a woman to death, the ox shall be stoned, and its flesh shall not be eaten, but the owner of the ox shall not be liable. But if the ox has been accustomed to gore in the past and its owner has been warned but has not kept it in and it kills a man or a woman, the ox shall be stoned and its owner shall be put to death. These are two different case laws. Number three, if a ransom is imposed on him and he sh- it, then he shall give for the redemption of his life whatever is imposed on him. If it gores a man's son or daughter, he shall be dealt with according to the same rule. If the ox gores a slave, male or female, the owner shall give to their master 30 shekels of silver and the ox shall be stoned. So recognize here that you have two different case laws, one dealing with an ox that has no history of goring 
And then another situation where a person owns an ox that has a history of goring. The one that does not have the history of goring has the ox be stoned. The one that has the one that has a history of goring, both the ox and the man shall be put to death because of his negligence. But when it comes to a slave, as we see, it goes back to the first one where a person where the ox does not have a history of goring. If it gores a slave, the person shall pay 30 shekels of silver, which is over $700 worth of, of pay, and the ox shall be stoned. So, Abbas, if you're going to teach me my Bible, demonstrate from the context that it's dealing with the exact same case law. It's so funny, man. So funny. Like, to, to save Bible, you do say anything you like to. So you say verse 28 and 32 are together. They go together. But between in between 29, 30, and 31 are different. How that is happened that 32, the last verse of the context, goes with the first one? Where do you learn that from? Where the whole context, you say your Bible is always in context. The whole context is saying if the, the, uh, it happened by accident and the ox doesn't have any history, then it should be the ransom, yeah? But if ox has a history, then it explains the details. Then the owner should be killed as well, unless there will be some sort of a, a arrangement of ransom. Yes, but it carries on and saying that. And this context carries on when his owner knew that the ox has a history. Then if he kills a, a, a young man, let me read it. It says, verse thir uh, 31, if it goes a man's son or daughter, he should, should be dealt with according to this same rule what same rule the one goes before death ox die man die and it carries on but if the ox goes a slave male or female then there's no death then it has to be the price so why are you changing the context when the context should be from 28 29 30 31 32 but you somehow saying 32 goes with 28 why why are you doing that who teaches you that where do you learn that from answer me that are you done I am. I'm done. Good. Yeah. Good. The context, because you just read it. You pointed out that those were two different situations. One with an ox that doesn't have a history. The other one, which does. You even pointed out in the context where it describes the different rules. For example, if that ox has a son, uh, gores a son or a daughter, it goes back to the previous rule. Which previous rule? The previous rule of the previous verse saying that an, a ransom should be displayed. But the text stops there in relation to that rule. It then simply says, if an ox gores a slave, okay? So is the, so let me ask you, Abbas, is it the exact same case law where it says, if an ox gores X, and if an ox has a history of goring X, is that the same case law? Yes or no? Of course not. There are two different uh, rules. It's Thank obvious you. with Thank the context. You. Then, you're, then yeah, your but argument, that's, that's, then your no, argument no. that they are the no. exact same case law is <laughs> refuted by your own no, words. The first your case law is point of disagreement against me was that they were the same no. case, law, but we just <laughs> saw by your you own mouth that it's not the same what Thank what you. i agree what i agree with you is yes there are two rules one is if the ox have a history and when when the ox doesn't have a history when it doesn't have a history then nobody has to die only the ox, ox will be put to death and there will be ransom should be paid that's fine but when ox has a history then it starts and tells what are the rules ox has a history then the man should be get killed as well and if, if it, it kills his son or daughter and he's still the same rule apply, which is previous one, he should be killed, but he carries on. But if he kills a slave man or woman, if slave man and woman is equal, why has to mention separately? Because their life means less. That's why it mentions separately. If, if it's all the same, it should be said, oh, but if he has a history, then the man should be killed anyway. Why slaves have to mention separately? Because so the slave life costs less. They are subhumans according to the Bible. That's why the punishment is different. Nobody so will die. Nobody will die when the slave dies. Nobody will die. Only the price will be paid. 
case so closed. Does, that's how it is. You wanted to take it or leave it is up so to you. Does, it's so, so clear does, in the Bible. So where does the text say, Mr. I'm going to cry and I don't want to be examined because I know that my point is. I laugh. I laugh later on. So, it's, so where does, so where does, so, later on. Very so, in ver, so in verse 32, where does the text say that this at this ox is one that is accustomed to goring, according to the text? We read the context, isn't it? Verse 31 says yeah, that I'm, I'm if it goes, if it goes, if it goes a man's son or daughter, he shall be dealt with the according to this with this same rule, rule which goes before that. Verse 29 and 30, not verse 28. How that works, this one is talking about the verse which is 28, but the rule 29 and 30. And That's 31, that, that, that doesn't apply. That's it has to, you have to go step by Abbas. step. Abbas. And you Abbas. are basically skipping the step. Abbas. That's Abbas. what you're doing. Stop, stop anyway, anyway, Abbas. anyway, anyway. You That's want to talk about the Quran? Abbas. Because I, I just can't Abbas. repeat myself. Abbas. Abbas. If you don't no want run. to, if you don't, don't want run. to accept the straight thing, look, no if run. you are if your eyes are closed and you say, Show Abbas. me the sun, don't I can't run. show you the sun if your eyes are shut. Your Abbas, eyes are shut, run. your mind is shut, you don't want to understand that. I made my point, let the audience, the listeners, they make, make judgment. We're not yeah, going to carry and, on and, and, the, audience, the, and the audience have judged that you are full of crap. All oh, of are, you, are you God? Are you omni, omniscient? You I, know I, everything. I'm literally oh. looking at the audience right now, bro. Oh, what what yeah, are you right. talking about? That's fine, We're that's fine. No, comment worries. Section. no worries, man. No worries. I'm sure... I don't have um, to be I don't have to be omniscient. Um, so, Mister, take it or leave it. Guys, the okay. point is clear. Oh, right Let's right. talk about the Quran. I want. I want. Before I go, I want to talk about the Quran. The I, verse I, you're talking I, about. Actually, the slave for slave. I have to wrap Sorry? up. Wrap up. But um, well, I'll be I'm again. willing to talk about that verse to clarify you. I'm sorry to say that was your confusion when you say slave for slave, yeah. woman for woman, man yeah, for man. Had, I want to clarify that. You had a lot of time to talk about it, but you ran to the Bible, the boss. You ran. No. To the uh, it's your choice. You want to defend the Bible. That's fair enough. I give you, I give you a chance to defend your Bible, and I, I'm here to defend Islam. That's what happens when you throw out a, a rabbit trail, and we actually entertain it, and you get schooled on the Bible for your lies, and then because you, you ran away from the Quran. I no brought worries, brother. Every, every time I brought up the Bible and answered you on the Bible, I always plugged back in to 178. I always did, but you never, you never dealt with it. Yeah, and, and I did say I want to answer about that. Be, that's fine, no problem. Uh, the truth is truth, and somebody want to hear. I actually already explained about that. I just okay. want to know what topic you're doing tomorrow. So tomorrow, I like to come tomorrow, tomorrow to prepare a little bit more. Tomorrow we're doing um, um, Islam's view on women. Oh, brilliant! Brilliant! Alhamdulillah. Okay. No worries, brother. Right, nice so talking you to you guys. Um, yeah. May God bless. I heard you laugh a little bit. Did you have fun, Ali? No. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just put on a little bit of weight. I just like coming to comedy show. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet yeah, you. Lovely to meet you, brother. Remember right. me in your praise. God All bless. Right. All right. Thank Take you. care, man. Even, even black doctor, you too. God bless. May the spirit turn your heart. You say even the left <laughs> shoulders. I, I appreciate that looking out for the left shoulders. I mean, I mean. Okay. Thank you, brothers. Yes. Right. Take care. All right, guys. Man, the so, audacity to appeal to the audience. Right. <laughs> the audience is laughing at you. So I'm glad we got a little bit of entertainment um, from from the Muslim side before we close this out. Uh, you know, I think that I think that that's what I'll do. Maybe for the first hour, go ahead and break down what we we're breaking down, and then the next let a, let the Muslims come up and try to defend the subject. I think that's a good idea. That that's fun. Um, Got a bunch of super chats that I wasn't able to get to. I was going through the sources and, uh, you know, all this kind of stuff. So sorry. Oh, I see Mama Bear asked for the link. I just saw this. Sorry, Connie. But, uh, yeah, this is Momo Week, baby. This is Momo Week. Uh, Muhammad Week, guys. Tomorrow we are going to be doing Islam's view on women. So I would like the sisters to come up on the panel. Show up. Uh -oh. Uh, Chloe, Mary Sister Hall, Snow. Snow. Ooh, bring up Snow. Ooh. If you see, if you're going to be on Clubhouse uh, later on, DL. If you see Snow, let her know. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ooh, don't bring Snow. I, I, the I, 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 survive. I've already told her and Sister Greens that I planned on doing Ladies Night once a week on my channel. So, okay. Uh, this, this will be good. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be excellent. So, if you do, if you do see them today, let them know that I would love to have them. Tomorrow it'll be 2 p.m. Eastern. 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, 
Yeah, I would love That's to have you said the last night. time, right? Yeah. <laughs> Weren't we ready at two o'clock Eastern? <clears throat> Remember, today was racism in Islam, so it was CP time. Yeah. Okay. Had to, had to <laughs> Christian <laughs> Prince time. <laughs> Christian Prince time, man. Christian Prince time. Um, but yeah, I just want to give a shout out to everybody who gave the uh, super chats and um and the super stickers and stuff like that throughout the stream. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of you guys. Um, you know, original Quran only Christian Connie who says, Love to you all. Love Connie. Love you too. Um, yes, man. Man, thank you guys, everybody. Thank you, brothers, for showing up. DL popping up in here. Black Doctor studied the show. Danny and Chris, who showed up earlier. I really, this was a fun one, man. This was fun. This was a good time. Hey, um, you told us to pull up. We did what we said. You did what you, yeah, exactly. You did what you said. So, if you don't, yeah. if you don't mind, uh, Brother God Logic, I'd like to close with uh, some scripture reading. Of course, man. This Always. Is, uh, the Apostle Peter, Acts chapter 4, verses 11 through 12. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Hallelujah, Baruch Hashem. Hallelujah, Baruch Hallelujah. Hashem. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned for Christian women react to Islam's view on women. If you guys are excited for that, stay tuned. It'll be posted pretty soon to get ready for it. Uh, take this, guys. Clip it up. Share it. Do whatever you want. Make sure it gets out there. I'm about to go back on TikTok and cook some Muslims up right now. So uh, you guys take care. Thanks for watching.